welcome to Good Time Society. I'm Becca Scott, and here we play through games. Today, we are doing a game played of this game, Descent Legends of the Dark. And I'm going to need some people to play this game with me, so let's meet them. Returning for yet another game played, we have Gina DeVivo. Hello! We're playing co-op today. I'm very happy. Yes. Well, you know, when I knew it was co-op, I thought, who loves working together and not being competitive with her friends? That's me. <laughs> we have Kara Sintel Dunk, one of the designers of this game. Hello. This is my game. <laughs> <laughs> We're so happy to have you here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And last but not least, we have the Bonzinator making her gameplay debut. Hey everyone, I'm Bonz. Hi, good to have you. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's learn this game, shall we? Kara, you're going to take charge, uh, but we are also screen capturing the companion app for Descent. Ooh. Ooh. Love a companion app. <laughs> Is it uh, too much to ooh my own app? Uh, no. Did you develop the app? No, our app team developed the app. I, so you can ooh. I help. <laughs> ooh. Ooh, but I help. I love it. Uh, yes, so before you may ooh yourself, always. I'll just ooh my own horn. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, so before a quest, uh, we have our narrative-driven cutscenes um, that kind of set up the events of the quest to come. So before we play, uh, we're going to get into our story a little bit. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Don't mind if I do. On the edge of the blind mirror forest, a wagon lies on its side. Its traces have been cut. Whatever animal pulled it is long gone. Chance. That's a me. Crouches, examining the scene. His ears lie flat and his tail lashes back and forth. Look here. Some of the cargo is trampled into the mud. Food, blankets, supplies for the refugees in Frostgate. Then Bren comes in. It's unusual for bandits to go after shipments like this. They usually target gold, jewels, valuable trade goods. But food and blankets? <clears throat> Chance needs a voice. I uh, hope you don't mind. Please don't take... I'm not uh, undermining your artistic license when it comes time for your Chance voice, which I do want to hear. When the Baron is being consumed by war, food and... Bl by war, comma, food and blankets are the most valuable goods. These bandits are smart enough to realize that their safe house isn't far now. I just hope I can remember the path. That's our first cutscene. I'm going to be passing this around, so I'm going to need all y'all to do voices as we go. Hope you don't mind. Okay, okay. I think, yeah, I think I got mine. Uh, well, then it seems like an opportune moment when we, we should intro our characters real quick. Ooh, yeah. Yeah? <clears throat> Tell us of Xerix. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Varix. I'm a dragon hybrid outcast. Sweet. Uh, hobbies? Oh, just... <laughs> I just like sitting on my porch and being grumpy. Uh, I need two shots of espresso per hour. Oh, wow. Oh. Love that for you. Uh, sweet. And Varix, how would you describe kind of like how they work as a character? Sure. So Varix is our healer. Um, so they have a healing ability. They also do support in other ways. So they tend to put uh, statuses on enemies and to also clear negative statuses from their friends. Aww. I'm here to help in any way I can, as long as you remain caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, who are you playing? Hello. <laughs> There's a lot of deep voices at this table. <laughs> well, I looked powerful. Mm. Uh, I'm playing Cyrus, and he is just a sweet boy. <laughs> I haven't been traveling with my companions long, but I already feel a deep sense of love for them. I also have a really cool firebird. Some call them a phoenix. I call them Indress. They help me fight things. I'm a very powerful wizard, but I like to stay humble. Um, <laughs> I, I like to go for walks in the forest as long as it's not too dark out. Um, I'm a bit of a human prodigy, but again, humble. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, I'm really just looking for a lot of good friends. 
that will help me kill things. Nice Aww. to meet you. Oh, we're going to be best friends. We will. Please keep me alive. I'm very squishy. I'm here for service. <laughs> awesome. Aw, love this bond already for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kara, who are you playing? Yeah, deeply unfair to follow all the professional people <laughs> on camera who are doing cool voices, so I, I will do my best, but it's not going to be very strong. A cat voice. Or maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's a cute cat. Maybe it's a cute, oh, cute maybe cat it's voice. A French cat. <laughs> oh, oh. Watch me, watch me try to keep up a French accent. Oh, I love it. Yes, yes, and yes. And get horrid comments from people who speak French for real. <laughs> uh, this Don't is, worry, I'll delete them. <laughs> uh, this is Chance. Uh, Chance is a high rinks rogue, uh, which is a uh, cat person. Uh, I'm just. Astounded by your yes and, which is rule one of any performance, um, you crushed it. I went to I went to college uh, near Chicago, so like there's just some improv classes that just get built in if you're yeah. within like a 50 mile radius of the oh, city. That makes sense. So <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is uh, Chance. Uh, Chance's obbies are uh, stealing, uh, sneaking, <laughs> uh, and balls of yarn. Love that. Oh, yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. Uh, well, of course. I am Bren, the human avenger. I take myself seriously because someone has to. I will do that for you, too. I, I will take everyone super seriously, and I will take shots to the chest on your behalf because I am the tank. Thank Wind you. blows. <laughs> yeah. oh, can uh, I just say I'm deeply impressed with how much you all have nailed the characters? Like, <laughs> Just right off the bat, got those characterizations down. I mean, I feel like the character art is just, it's all its all telling the story. It's right there for us. But thank you. All right, let's play some game. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little more flavor text for us. Ooh. Okay, okay. The forest is dark, tangled. The leaves above ensnare the sun, leaving only whispers and shadows below. They are getting close, said <laughs> Chance. Now we just have to find the entrance. There might be some trouble up ahead. How do we know? Oh, I forgot my own thing because I did French. <laughs> uh, how do we know we can trust you, said Cyrus. When it comes to trust, Chance chooses. Yeah, so this is our first virtue choice. Um, so in Descent, each of our heroes have a set of virtues, which are ways their characters are going to grow, and it will change how they behave um, and what they unlock over the course of the campaign. Chance's virtues are independence and trust. Um, he can choose to be uh, further his own self-dependence through independence, uh, or he can learn to build relationships with others through choosing trust options in dialogues and moments like this. Um, well, you're playing chance, mm. so you ultimately get the choice, but you Damn. are looking deeply into mm. Cyrus's eyes. Will you trust us? <laughs> Cyrus loves co-ops, and... <laughs> uh, and then I think, yeah, uh, we have to trust each other. Uh, so I'm so trust. glad you said that. Yes. Cyrus gives you a hug. <laughs> Chance is first, probably for some is like, oh, 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 so this is what a hug is. Ah, oh, you're right, I should have asked first. <laughs> I am proud of both of you. <laughs> oh God, the way to make sure no one sneaks up on you during this hug. Oh, thank you. It's still going on. It's a long I hug. I do tend oh. to get ambushed. I'm a hugger. <laughs> I got your back. Thank you. I'll the, stop the, now. The cat shift, like, let go. <laughs> Imagine Varix is very literal and like is holding your back. <laughs> <laughs> Little Drax vibes. Oh, wait, but it's, it's, oh, uh, papa. We have to trust each other. I guess, I guess I might as well tell you. <gasps> the bandits who use the safe house, I uh, had some history with them. Ooh. Let's just focus on finding those supplies and getting out of here. A lot of refugees are counting on us. And we begin. Light can hardly pierce the blind myrrh forest. And the farther in you get, the less visibility your torches provide. You know that it is mid-afternoon, yet the woods around you seem to exit 
exist, exist <laughs> in the inscrutable moonless night. Continue. <laughs> okay, we need one B and three B. That's Handy your job. dandy time. Terrain. Mother. I am terrain mother. <laughs> and three B. Nailed it. It's a less prestigious Mother Earth position. <laughs> there, I made a nice little you. Oh, but so I'm. You want to nope. Build it like the abs shows said you how to we build could it. improvise. <laughs> Bingo. Nope. 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 There we go. Ha. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Wow. Yep. I'm great at shapes. <laughs> Um, the way that our maps usually uh, grow is we'll probably want to put these more towards one side and then just grow like out from there. What you just built. No, 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 I just, I just moved it. I just twisted okay. it. Cyrus understands that everyone has different skills. <laughs> Continue. Continue. The path, such as it is, forks here and two equally dark and foreboding pathways snake into the blind mirror with little to differentiate them. Place two explore tokens. Are these this boys? They are. Yes. Okay, there's this one and mm -hmm. this one. Awesome. Would you do a little reading for us, fans? Bryn raises her torch a little higher and scowls at the pathways leading deeper into the woods. I've heard from our border patrols that a gang of outlaws makes their home here, but no soldiers or guards have ever managed to find it. She looks the chance. Are you sure you know the way? <laughs> Do I run the video? Yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chance's ears twitch as he blinks in the torchlight. <laughs> well, <laughs> I only sort of remember it. He admits, I learned it, that is, I heard about it. <laughs> Chance chooses. Oh. <gasps> you get to make so many decisions. Yeah, oh, that's probably relevant, which is, uh, this is a chance-based quest. So in Descent, you'll bring a specific hero along on certain quests, and those quests will be built around uh, that hero's story and their character art. This one in particular is around Chance and his history with a figure called the Outlaw Prince. And how many are there in this base game? So there'll be 16 quests in the base game. Um, of the 16 quests, let's see, intro, finale, side quest, side quest, <laughs> 12 of them um, require a hero to be played. So each hero will be required for two quests. Okay. The side quest, the intro, and the finale, you can take whoever you'd like. Okay, so there's six characters? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. And we are playing the very first quest after the intro. Yes. So the introduction will uh, does lots to teach you how to play the game, uh, and then this is the first quest. Um, one of the two quests you can play after the introduction. We got right into it for ya. Okay, so you choose whether you heard about it through eavesdropping on the thieves or from your teacher. We established mm. earlier that I was leaning more into trust. Yes. Um, due to the deep, soulful gaze and excellent <laughs> hugs of Cyrus. <laughs> Uh, so, I've got those big, beautiful brown <laughs> eyes. Uh, I believe I must have learned uh, uh, from my teacher. Mm. Do you want to do some reading? Sure. Uh, my teacher taught me, says, uh, Chance says, one ear canting to the side. He, that is, my teacher, he knows a lot, and taught me about this place so I could uh, st stay away because these outlaws are dangerous. Sensing an uncomfortable amount of attention on himself, Chance turns toward the fork in the road. Only a few of the important outlaws know the whole way. The others have to be led there. But I remember something they said. When you come to the archway, do not go through it. Uh, we can figure out the rest, right? That seems like enough direction. Yeah. Don't go through the archway. And in fact, uh, our quest is going to miss our first objective. Objective updated. Find the outlaw hideout. All right. Place the heroes on the highlighted spaces. Mm. Oh, wow. These are gorgeous. Yeah. Varix might win for me. Of most epic. Hard to say. Mm -hmm. It's the phoenix on Cyrus for me. I just love the Ooh. arc of the flame. Yeah, that it's painted. <sighs> mm, I bet it's beautiful. Bellissimo. 
uh, place the heroes on highlighted spaces. The heroes can now progress towards completing their feats in the app. Feats are personal objectives for each hero, such as being the first to act during a round or attacking with a particular weapon. To view which feats are active and their progress, open the party menu. Ooh, woo in the lower left corner and select the feats button. Each hero has one active feat at a time, but its progress is automatically tracked by the app. All right, I'm gonna open this up. Um, so feats are one of the ways that Descent embraces its ethnic graded nature. Um, so one way that you're going to unlock things like potion recipes or new skills for your character is going to be by completing different uh, tasks uh, as you play quests. So for example, Bryn's first feat is called Double Jeopardy. You want to attack one enemy two times with your hammer in the same round. If you do that five times, you'll unlock the Dead Man's Haft recipe for your weapon. Ooh! Here, yours is next. Ooh! Oh, da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba Your picture will be there. There I am. I know what I look like. I own a mirror. Um, I want to... I thought you were humble. Un <laughs> it's called a lake. That's my mirror. Nature's mirror. Okay, I want my lost knowledge. I must interact with a shelf. I reward... I, my reward is pursuit of knowledge. So I just, I want to get them books. That makes sense. I'm a, yeah. You're a nerd. Also one of, I'm a big old nerd. A humble nerd. Who's next? Nerd. Cat or dragon? If you would. Every advantage, deal additional damage using enemy weaknesses. Reward, inscribed haft recipe. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> yeah, we will, we'll need to learn about enemy damage types. <laughs> inscribed half recipe. Hey, you know what? When you get it, you'll know. I'll know. <laughs> uh, mine is undercover. Interact while there are enemies on the map or perform an interaction that causes enemies to spawn. Oh, hey. oh, that's causing trouble. <laughs> yeah, oh. reckless behavior. We'll have to see it. Okay. Starting feats have been chosen. Uh, so now we're just going to dive. Now that we've done setup, we'll dive straight into the hero phase. So. Descent is played over a series of rounds. In the first half of the round is the hero phase, where we'll all take all turns. Uh, where we'll all take our turns, uh, and in the second half is going to be the darkness phase. Uh, in the darkness phase, enemies will activate, and sometimes other events may happen as well. Um, mm -hmm. So we can dive into our first hero phase. We're each going to take our turns one at a time. On your turn, you'll have one move action and two of any other kind of action. Okay. Um, you all have little um, reference cards in front of you that t talk about the hero turn. Um, but just briefly, on your turn, you can move around. You have a speed on your hero sheet. It's right uh, next to the arrows. That's how many squares you can move. You can move diagonally. Uh, you can then, um, when you do your move into other actions, you can move again. So you can move up to three times in a round if you really had to just run somewhere. Uh, the other action is going to be interact. Uh, so any tokens or terrain we put on this map can be interacted with for an action. Okay. So when a tree goes down, you can climb a tree or search it. Uh, you can get water from a well. These interact tokens are just what they say. You can uh, spend an action to interact with them to do what they say. Um, if there are enemies on the board, which we will see later, uh, you can spend an action to fight enemies. And then the final action is uh, an action called... We changed it during the design of this game, and so I never <laughs> remember the final one. Uh, maneuver is actually the move action. Um, prepare. Ready. So... This is just a fun fact that I want to share, which is yeah. ready used to be the name of the token and prepare used to be the name of the action, and we actually switched yeah. it very late in development. <laughs> and so I never remember the correct term now. <laughs> the curse um, of being the designer. You never know what the finished one was. Yes, you, you remember every iteration up to the final, and then which one made it into the final is a little hard to remember. So when you take a ready action, you'll flip a card over. So in Descent, um, your hero card, all of your skills, and your uh, weapon are double-sided. So um, on your weapon, you actually have two weapon cards put back to back to become a single card. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, Bryn has a sword and a hammer. Um, the ready action allows you to flip between your weapons. Weapons will have their own abilities, they'll also have their own damage types. Um, they might also, if they are uh, ranged versus melee, um, that might change as well as the amount of damage each weapon does. Uh, your skills are also double-sided, so on one side you'll have a skill that does stuff and on the other you'll have another skill that does stuff. Uh, and then the final action you can take as a hero is the unique action. So uh, the way that works is some cards will say one and then there'll be a little arrow icon. 
Uh, that arrow icon means it takes one of your actions during your turn. That's not your maneuver. Um, this can be all sorts of things. For example, I have a disguise ability that allows me to take an action to swap spaces with another hero within five, spa uh, within five spaces of me. It makes mm. perfect sense. Yeah, I, I take off my mask, and it turns out I've been Cyrus all oh, along. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't get taller. that close. <laughs> Uh, so with all that ado, uh, someone can take their first turn now. Well, as the leader, Ren, whoosh, I feel like I should lead the way in case there's any enemies that appear. I agree. I, <laughs> I support you. Thank you. And I would like to hide behind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Uh, so I can move I up can to move? three. So if I go one, two, three onto the front left okay. character there. I'm going to go, One, yeah, forward. Two. We will Beep. interact and find out what's there. If you would like, you are welcome to interact from adjacent to these tokens. Oh, ooh. Um, that's important because when you take a move action, you can split it around your actions. So if you only move two, you can move one space later on if it became relevant. Oh, yeah, I'll hold that final movement okay. for later. Beep. Okay, and then do I click this? You're going to drag your hero portrait to a token. Um, and that's because sometimes the app will know who's interacted and it will have special flavor text for that hero. Cool. Ooh, very fun. Okay. Ooh. You start down the path hoping that it's the right one. But I'm Bryn, so it's always the right one. You soon lose your way in the darkness. <laughs> you, mm. can t you cannot tell which shadows or trees or bushes or darkness dwelling creatures and which are just tricks of the mind. By the time you think better of forging ahead, you cannot find the way you came. Test will six. <gasps> Great, Ooh. so testing. Uh, you're gonna roll those two black dice in front of you to test your will. Good luck. And Bring. then whatever you roll, you're gonna look for stars. And then you're going to plus or minus stars based on how good you are at will, which is on your hero sheet. Ah, I am very good at will. Okay, I mean, moderately good. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. One, two, three, four, two advantage. I don't think I'm gonna take fatigue in order to turn those into successes, but I do, ah, I, I will have to do it for one of them because I get one will because of my character, so I'm at five. And it looks like I want six. So I will take one fatigue to turn one advantage into a success? Exactly. All right. Boom. And that's going to be a pass. You only sweat a little bit in the dark. Yeah. Good thing no one can see this. It's all under my giant winged helm. <laughs> you forge ahead, swallowing your fears for the moment. The shapes you see are merely trees. <laughs> I knew that. Your journey in the dark eventually leads you to familiar ground. Place your hero back on one of the four starting spaces. Then you may perform another action. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> uh, I was, mm, gotcha. <laughs> uh, so you got a little lost in the dark and ended up back where you started. Um, that probably means we want to take a look at this other token. I'm going to take a look at that other token. Let's, can Last I use move. my final of that first move you maneuver can. action? <laughs> Ooh, boop. You start down the path, hoping it's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Place tile 17B and one archway. Uh, but if I recall, Chance overheard not to use the archway? Yes, earlier I believe I said uh, that we should not go through the archway. Oh. All right, now we did move in this direction. So, do we want to scoot our board or even rotate? 17B. Uh, oh, we're a ways away. Ha! Huh. I've jumped. <gasps> okay, so the area I found is kind of more like this, I think, because we're mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Okay. A woman in a brown cloak stirs a bubbling, simmering soup in a cauldron. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to add this cauldron and this token. A woman in a brown cloak stirs a bubbling, shimmering soup in a cauldron. She looks up as you arrive. Who is this? Ooh. She pauses in her stirring. Not the neighbors, at least. Make yourself at home. I'll need to open the way for you at any rate. Place one cauldron and one explore token. 
The path before you widens into a clearing. Indistinct shapes loom in the shadows ahead. Place your hero on a highlighted space, and then you may perform an additional action. The highlighted space. Oh, it would have been up when the message was up, but it should be over here. <laughs> so honor this into that space. Perfect. We did it. All right. Um, so I've maneuvered, uh, and I did explore two tokens. So I feel like that's my turn, even though it said take an additional action. I mean, it, take additional action is take an additional action. Okay. <gasps> so uh, technically, I still get two because the other one said that too. Mm -hmm. um, so. Oh my. Gosh, I wish there was something to fight. But let's explore this new token that just got here. So. To explore a token, you have to be adjacent to it or on it. <laughs> There's a back button up there. No, no, no. <laughs> this is our first app with an undo button, which is a pretty big deal to That's people. Important. Yeah. Okay, well, we gotta find this outlaw hideout, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then I'm now adjacent to the cauldron. I wonder if I can interact with that? Let's mm -hmm. see. Oh, yeah. The sludge at the bottom of the cauldron is no use to anyone in its current state, but perhaps it could yet be revived with a vigorous stirring and the addition of common ingredients. Test agility. Uh-oh, I have minus one agility because my armor heavy. Our cauldron's really get in the way of the stirring. Yes, but hey. that's five successes, and just based on our previous roll, I wonder if I should... I'm going to do one more fatigue, because why not? And I've got six successes. Oh, well, minus one from mm. the agility lowering. But, so we'll go with five. The substance in the cauldron has not yet been brought back to usability. <gasps> by me, at least. So that was an open-ended test. Um, the app will actually save the progress you've made. Oh. And the next person to test, whether it's you or another hero, will already, well, they'll be building off the progress you've already put in. Wow. Hey, yes. Okay, so the maneuver and the cauldron peeking was all I got. Who wants to go next? It's any order, right? Any order. The camera cuts back to all of us standing there. I wonder when Bryn will be back. <laughs> I Is she going to loop again? All right. I do bombs. have a question. So the fatigue on the bottom right-hand corner. Yep, so there's actually too much fatigue on this card. I so you're going to need to push the fatigue you. on one of the other cards. All right, but which is technically a little bit illegal, or that was okay for... Advantage is the one place you can, you can put spend it anywhere. In. Yep. Okay, great. All right. So uh, I can move. Yes. <laughs> three. I'm, I can move three, right? Mm -hmm. Up to three. And I'm going to try to get over to the cauldron. Okay, go ahead. One, two. And three. then how do I hop over there? Interact with that thing oh. by dragging oh your my. token on the bottom onto it. So much technology in this <laughs> yeah. game. Okay, you start down the path hoping that it is the right one. The path before you widens into a clearing. Indistinct shapes loom in the shadows ahead. Place your hero onto the highlighted space. Then you may perform an additional action. And right. one of these two. The, the closer. Oh, oh no. it looks like the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> I got sticky fingers. <laughs> Okay, and now do I? Chance too much. Now I can move before I press continue. Uh, now you can hit continue and okay. and keep going. Okay, yep. so now I have a move of three. Mm -hmm. you, you have one left over from before mm -hmm. going through the token, I believe. Oh. You do. Yep. Well, I, I'm just gonna move around then. I'll just move closer, one step to you. Are you heading towards the cauldron or the explore token? I will head toward the. Well, both. I would like to explore and help you with the cauldron at some point. Okay, I'm gonna hop over me then. So that was your other one, and then one, two, th how about here for three? Sure. Okay. Looks like you could do either. And then, is that it, or do I do it right now? When you're interacting with the token, it should have given you an additional action, so you can now interact with this token as your last action if you'd like. Okay. Because you would have moved, interacted with the token to get another action, so that one doesn't count, moved, and now you have one left. Okay. As you approach, you see the woman's cloak is actually made of brown feathers. <gasps> she peers out from you, uh, peers out at you from the hood, eyes large. <laughs> <laughs> you do that really well. I don't see many visitors this deep in the blind mirror forest, she says. And now is this her or is this me? That's you responding. Oh, me. 
Do you live here? Are you with the outlaws? Or can you help us find the outlaw hideout? Hmm, what do you think I should do? Let's be goal oriented. Yeah, let's yeah. find the hideout. Can you, okay. Can you help us find the outlaw hideout? I, I feel like you have a better voice for her. You wanna read? I can open the way for you. <gasps> I keep things closed up so I can keep my own company. <laughs> Sometimes stray animals wander in if I let them. Are you prepared for that? Now, if I say <laughs> yes, I might go alone. So shouldn't I wait for more people to come with me? For more characters? I mean, if you... You know the answer. I do know the answer. <laughs> that's, why, think, that's why I'm looking I'll at the you. I'm stone face. trying to read your Animals faces. is code for enemies we'll need to yes, fight. So. so I say open it up because then our friends on their turn can come fight. Okay. Yes. The old woman nods acknowledgement. She gazes into the darkened trees and lets out three sudden why, rising whoops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> you are startled at first, but then you notice paths that you did not see before, but coming down them, foes. <gasps> okay. One more here. I have an understanding with the creatures of this forest, so don't worry about me. The woman <laughs> assures you. Place two explore tokens, which I think we did. We just Got did. It. Spawn the following enemies. Uh -oh. ah! uh, one fae, fae. Oh, two fae. And one, and one wolf. wolf. And it looks like they're on... Can you tell me what colors they are? Red. Oh, it's a level two fae and a level one wolf. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, explain to us what you're doing. Yeah, so these are enemy identifiers. So later, for example, if we had two fae, one would be red and one would be green. Um, and we'd have these identifier tokens to show that. That's so pretty. I love how they just peek out like that. They're really helpful. Um, we did also uh, put some effort to make them a little more colorblind friendly by putting uh, little notches in them. Mm -hmm. So you always put the one side outward um, for the red notch, and it's actually reflected in the app as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and so if you are playing with someone who maybe uh, doesn't differentiate the colors as easily, you can say, like, oh, a one-notch fey uh, and a two-notch fey. Perfect. That's really Ooh. nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are both single notch fey. Uh, and then it looks like the wolf is right through the other side of the archway. And then the fey is uh, one empty space from the cauldron. Good? Got it. OK, now they're there. I think, uh, and I that think was your that's final my move, turn. huh? <laughs> I would like to knife them a question. <laughs> Knife them a question. <laughs> Chance, I heard a gradually louder whooping. <laughs> Do you want to go and check it out? Uh, this I am familiar with. <laughs> I shall uh, take a look. I'll stay here and keep watch. Oh, no. Until it's my turn. <laughs> I don't want to leave you. Why? <laughs> I think I'm safer here. <laughs> uh, so I'll use the token to come over. And then I'm going to do our first attack of the game. Ooh. Uh, I have my Shadow Claw Gauntlet up, so I need to come be next to this enemy. I've moved one, I'll move two, three, come up behind the Fey, and drag onto them to attack. Um, so Fey's health will be tracked in the app, so we know that they have a health of 30 um, that we need to reduce to zero to get rid of them. No problem. Mm. Um, Enemies will also have uh, defensive abilities, so when we attack them, they'll essentially have abilities back. In the face case, they're otherworldly. During the attack, I'll suffer one fatigue for each advantage I convert to success. Oh. Um, all right. An uh, additional one. An additional one. So I, you would normally only spend one to convert. Uh, because of the otherworldly ability, I'd have to spend two. Yeah. To get through that veil of reality, you really got to sweat a little yeah. extra. Uh, so when I attack... I'm going to use um, a special ability Chance has, which is before I attack or defend, I must flip a shadow card and add one success. Uh, so I've flipped my shadow card over, I add a success to my attack, I've rolled a success, and I did roll an advantage. Um, because I haven't taken a lot of fatigue yet, I'm going to feel very happy to just take some now um, to convert it to a third success. Uh, so I'll put my three successes into the app and... I think 
I'm going to add one more from an ability on my weapon because I really want to give these Fey a bad time. Nice. Ooh, they have so many teeth. Yes, there's um, there's a lot of teeth involved. 12 damage. Yes. That's almost halfway. Not too bad. Yeah, so the Fey have 18 health remaining. Uh, and let's see, I moved. I've attacked. I can attack again um, because I have one more action left. So I'll try and see. I'll probably do a lot less good this time because I've used all my abilities at this point. Um, so I'm forced to flip this over. Uh-oh, you got a surge. Yeah. So my surge allows me to add two successes. Ooh, um, not uh-oh. Undo the uh-oh. <laughs> it's a good. It's a yay. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I made it backwards. <laughs> uh, so I have two successes for my surge and a third success from uh, flipping a shadow card over. Um, though I'm now out of that ability because I'm out of shadow cards. <gasps> so I'll put it in three. Um, this time I only did seven damage, and there's 11 health remaining on the Fae. And that's my turn. Wow, good Beautifully job. Beautifully done. Well, I'm lonely. I might as well <laughs> go in. Buzz. Um, So I'm going to move one, two. Oh. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Interact. So do you want to be here, or do you want to yes. be a little further away? Uh, further away, please. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now... I can still move too, but I'm not gonna. All and right. I'm going to attack from here. Oh no, bad guys. Ugh. Um, and. Hey Cyrus, welcome to the party. I met a witch, also bad things. <laughs> Dang it, no bookcases. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm oh, gonna. Oh, I have those, but only for me to see. <laughs> oh, I'm only rolling one, correct? Mm -hmm. You're gonna okay. roll what's next to your swords on your hero sheet. Great. Great, great, great. So I got a lightning bolt and one star. So you have a success, so you definitely yes. have one success. And then you also have a surge, so now you'll look at what your surge does. Okay, my surge. Add one star and you may move one fatigue token from this card to another. Um, well. You don't have a fatigue, but. I don't have a fatigue. Well, it'll add the star either way. Great. So, you get so I get two stars. Exactly. Okay. Confirm. Confirm. Slash. Three damage. Good job, Ooh. Cyrus. That's I almost as much as chance did. <laughs> I feel so loved, guys. <laughs> Who's next? I think you have another action. Mm -hmm. I do. Wow, I'm going to try that again. I feel so powerful. Bam. So don't forget to hit continue in the app. Continue. And then you're going to draw. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Bam. And now you're a professional at this. Go ahead and hit ha. open. Ha. Ha. <laughs> okay. Again, a star and two plus signs. Mm -hmm. So now I can add two fatigue. fatigue. Bink. Bink. And make that one. And then for each fatigue... After I roll, I can convert one plus sign into two stars. So that could be four total? Almost. You can only Almost. use these once per timing instance. Dang. Okay. So only one sweat. And I'm going to turn one of these plus signs into two stars, making it three stars total. And you can just change the other one into one success. You just can't use this ability to make it a second success. How do I turn that into just one, take more, just one fatigue? One fatigue. And that's just Great. a Great. Four. Great. You got this. Confirm. Six damage. Very good, Cyrus. Yeah. I am most proud of you. you chucks. <laughs> so our Faye hung on at two health there at the end. Dang you, Faye. Dang it. Okay, uh, I think this means darkness is a coming. It does. Ooh, okay, so we hit end phase. Mm -hmm. Now that we've all gone, the darkness phase will happen, so we'll hit end phase. We'll get a big splash screen, a big threatening splash screen. <gasps> Uh, resolve Infection and Tear. So this uh, is called Time Passes. This happens every round. We don't have any Infection and Tear out on our cards, so we don't have to worry about that until we do. And then each hero may discard one Fatigue. Yay! I didn't have any. Impressive, Varix. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and now our enemies are going to activate. It is definitely to do with that espresso shot. I just <laughs> saw you Sipping take Sipping it right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Something's <laughs> happening to you, Varix. What? Yeah. Oh no! Face coming for you. Oh! Will you read what it happens? Target Varix. Flying. While moving, this enemy ignores elevation, terrain, and underlays and cannot be impeded. After the de defense, 
The target either discards one focus token or suffers two fatigue. Eee. Well, it's only two fatigue. I can, I can, I think I have to, do I have to defend myself? Yep, so now we'll do their activation. So uh, our phase fly, which means um, we'll see how much they move, then what they attack if they're ranged or melee, and then how much they attack for. Our fair actually ranged, uh, so they'll be able to hit you as long as they're three spaces away from you. They are three spaces away from you, um, and they want to be three spaces away because when you do a ranged attack, our enemies are a little smart and they want to stay far away from you if possible. Uh, and then they're going to try and hit you for four damage. Uh, when you're attacked, you're going to roll your defense die, which is the die that's next to the shield on your hero sheet. Just the one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do I go? Yep. And Big buddy. I got two stars. Perfect. For every success you have, you take one less damage. So if you're hitting for four and you have rolled two, you will take... Two. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't make people do math. I hate when I have to do math live. That's like. an acceptable level of math, I'd say. Well, yeah. There's like plus signs involved and conversions. And there's, like lightning lightning there's lightning bolts. Uh, All right, so, okay. do, so this weapon doesn't do anything because I'm defending? Yes, it's not defensive. Yep, so okay. you have your health dial. Oh, no. You'll lower it by the two you took. And then uh, as you read out loud, after the defense, so now that you've done this, the target either discards one focus token uh, which would be a blue token, which none of us have right now, or, or suffers two fatigue. Okay, and then I can, do I put that on my character? You can put it on any card that holds fatigue. I'll do that one. All right, I'm going to try and give people focus this time, because <gasps> that's something I can do with my skill. Uh, then... Oh, Ooh. no. <gasps> now, what's interrupt? When would that happen? Yeah, so sometimes you will have abilities as heroes, um, to interrupt enemies and do things. Um, for example, you can attack an enemy before they activate or after they activate. The interrupt button lets you do that. Um, on the negative side, sometimes the enemies uh, reduce your health to zero and you have to take an injury. Uh, you would also hit the interrupt button to um, have the app tell you what injury to take. Gotcha. Um, okay, so now the wolf is also targeting Varix. S and savagery, what? before the defense, if the target is wounded, which you are not, I believe, right? No. no. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, wounded is when you go to Would zero happen. on your hit points, right? Wounded is when you have an injury in front of you, yep. Uh, okay. Uh, if the target is wounded, each other hero suffers to fatigue, but that's not the case. So just a regular defense? I'm taking all the hits. I'm okay with that. I'm still strong right now. So Rolf is going to move three towards Varix and then bite Varix for three. Oh, so yeah, one, it's got to move. One, two, three. Okay. Um, it didn't have a range symbol, which is why we know it has to be next to Varix to bite okay. them. And now I roll? Mm-hmm. Three All damage. Right. Roll your defense. Okay. Big money. Come on. Oh, no. <gasps> I got nothing. Just two oh, advantage. No. Th there's nothing I can do? You could take two fatigue, right? Mm-hmm. You can, can convert I, your advantage can to Can I successes. heal three? Uh, you can do that on your turn. Yep. Oh, no. It's on my turn. Buddy, I got gotcha. you. Okay. I was supposed to heal you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, so, so okay, what do I do? I take some uh, so fatigue? So you're either going to take three hits or you can negate two of them by taking a fatigue per one you want to convert to a success. I could do that. If you, do, if you take two fatigue, you only have to take one damage. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So I'll put one right here and one right here, and then on my turn I'll remove a fatigue off my character sheet, right? Oh, that happened at the start of darkness, so it won't be on the start of your turn. So if I have a full fatigue on my character, what happens? Oh, uh, you just can't use the ability on your card because you oh. don't have the fatigue to afford it. Well, then let um, me do this one. You could always spend an action to flip your card over, which would clear all the fatigue from it. Okay. Um, what's nice about your spear and your skill, though, is their abilities don't require fatigue. So putting fatigue on them is better than putting it on your hero card yeah. because it doesn't matter if those cards have fatigue on them um, because, for example, your spear is, uses a surge and not fatigue to activate. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Only take one damage. I'm now at five. Love it. Okay. Ooh, your foes search the forest for you. Remove each enemy on a tile with no heroes on it from the map. Then place those enemies on or adjacent to an explore token on the tile with the most heroes. So if they were on those other tiles, they would come to us. They would catch up with us. Yep. Mm. Don't worry, they're already here. <laughs> the wolf turns its side and crouches low, baiting you forward with a bristled back. So all our enemies have tactics, which are special activations or abilities um, that get randomly chosen and pulled. So in this case, um, we know that the wolf is doing something special. 
Um, but we might not know what it is until we attack the wolf and find out. Or until the wolf activates and does something it doesn't normally do. We gotta attack you to find out. And in the future, when it uh, crouches low and bristles, we'll know what that means and can play around it. Ah, okay. Uh, anybody dying to take their turn real fast? Anybody dying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I kind of want to do more cauldron -y stuff, and I am next to it. All but right. I could also smash a fey on, as part of the same turn. So I'm going to jump Go on for in it. there. Yeah. Okay. Let's smash fey first. Ooh, my first fight of the day. What a way to start. I have my hammer up and... During the attack, I'm going to suffer a fatigue for each uh, advantage I convert. That's all right. We won't need it. We'll roll too good. That's too many dice. Ooh. You'll roll one good. One good. It's a three success. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. And confirm. <gasps> 12 damage. What is overkill? How? So we also How? just learned. I'm far away. Would you like to share? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, it says under the Fey weakness. There was two question marks, but now one of them is the crush symbol, <gasps> and my hammer does a crush. Oh wow! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Who knew? She I was, was weak to squashing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like squash. Remove Fey. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So softening them up in the middle of combat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cyrus. You're my favorite, and I will hug you for that later. <gasps> yes! <laughs> and now I'm going to use my second action to go check out this cauldron again. Test some agility. Now I get my two dice. Big! Okay, Ooh. that's four successes, Ooh. minus one for me sucking at agility. A pinch of ash is the last step in revitalizing the potion. Now richly colored liquid bubbles sluggishly in... Bubbles sluggishly in the bottom of the cauldron. There is but a bottle's worth. Gain the following cards. One, Slayer Potion. It's almost like you knew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a Slayer Potion. I can use an action to attack an enemy, attack another enemy, and then attack a third enemy. What? I'm the Slayer. I was chosen. There's only one of us, except that time that I died, and then there's two. <laughs> but I came back. <clears throat> I'm not referencing anything. It's fine. Uh... I think, let's see, is it Vigor Potion just a freebie? Um, mm -hmm. Like no action? Okay, great. So, uh, adjacent hero. I'm not actually adjacent to anyone, and I've done two actions. So I think I'm going to try and get closer. You always have a move. Yep. Yeah. A move into actions. I'm the tank here, so let me get closer. Ooh, we also have interact tokens that I am currently adjacent to. So you know what, to just economy of action, I'm just going to interact with that token over there. Well, you did do an attack oh, I must do a and a cauldron. Thank so for your you. third, you must do a maneuver. Okay, great. So I want the app to know I'm close, uh, but I don't think it's going to know that. So we'll just move one closer to the wolf. Hope it hits me. And because I'm the tank. And then I'll give a vigor potion to one of my friends. Uh, your max health is eight. Yes. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna vigorize you. Here you are, Varix. Thank you. So you look wait. like you needed this. You can. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. You can heal three. Oh, I'm okay now. I'm gonna uh, another sip the, of my espresso. <laughs> yeah. Just take out a flask. Another. <laughs> okay. Who's who's ready for some action? I don't mind killing. I forgot. Oh, cool. I forgot my voice oh. for Varix. I forgot. You nailed it. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay. Yeah. I think it's like grumpy and loves espresso. That's it. I, I just <laughs> I keep on thinking of Gollum from Lord of the Rings, and it's not Gollum. Like it's not like <laughs> it's not. It's something else that I can't. That was so impressive. Yeah, that was wow. such that a good Gollum. Really wow. Good. Andy Serkis eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, please move me one step diagonally. Now I'm four away from that pesky wolf. Hiya! Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> um, Sweet, you got three successes. Great. Oh, But I yeah. can't, right? That, that was two and a plus. Because you're all full, yep. I'm full. 
Did you recover a fatigue at the start of darkness already? No. You should have recovered a fatigue Great. at the start of darkness. Great. Oh, I took a break while my friend was getting attacked. <laughs> but I'm going to take it right back um, and put it on my sheet and to convert one of those. So one, two, three, four, baby. Whoop -ah. Oop, what is it's it? the what continue is it? button. That was the same Sting. Whoop -ah. 11. Whoa. Ooh, so good. You did also find the weakness for the I, wolf. Oh. Look at that wolf. He's so not happy about slashing damage. Uh-oh. Well, you know what, wolf? Another. Oops. Oh, something's Oops. happening. Read it aloud. Oh, oh. Enemy ability reminder. Feral. After the attack, this enemy shifts one space towards you. Then, if it is adjacent to you, you suffer one attack. Ooh. Ooh. So what's really nice here is because Bryn stepped forward, yep. there's a cauldron and an archway here. Uh, the wolf ah. actually can't get closer to you. Ah. Wow. Take yes. that, puppy. And I attack it again from very far away. Let's go. Okay. What is it? Yes, okay, so I get one star, and I also have a lightning bolt, so I'm going to do this. Um, which is I get to add one star and I get to move my uh, one of my sweat over here uh, to a different card. Um, and then I also have a, a, a plus sign, so I will spend that in order to add two. Not status, continue. <laughs> ha! Whoa. 12 damage. Yay! Continue. He's still kicking with one life left. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Just, just barely hanging on there. He's, he's, he's cut up, but he's still eyeballing me. Yep. Um, and that, he, he tries to feral attack me again, but <laughs> he can't. Can't do it. Continue. Uh, you still have a little movement, right? If you want to run away? Uh, I don't no, need no to. Need. Yeah. Great. I'm going to stay by my friend Chance. Aww. Buddy system. Yeah, we hugged earlier. We're we're very close now. We have uh, we have a uh, what do you say connection? <gasps> I love that word. <laughs> uh, since the wolf is trapped, and I also have um, a ranged attack I can do, I would love to go next to finish off the wolf for us. Please. I'm gonna flip over to my throwing knives, <gasps> and then I will finish off the wolf. Hopefully. Yeah. One, two, three. Yes. Five damage. Completely. Ooh, your surge ability is cool. It's just two straight up successes. Yeah. It's, it, it's just more powerful. Um, our foe has dropped a valuable item. The following has been added to your inventory to be used later. The Witch Hazel Bow. Ooh. Ooh. It sounds like it's great for your skin while you fight <laughs> enemies. <laughs> no wonder that wolf looks so good. <laughs> Perfect. Do we have a witch hazel bow? And uh, is there a card for There it? is a card for it. Excellent. Um, it's actually a weapon for one of the heroes we're not playing right now, mm -hmm. whose name is Galadin. But there's our witch oh, hazel nice. bow for Galadin. Ooh. We'll just hold on to that for our buddy. Yeah. Bring back a pre Who doesn't like a souvenir from a trip? Right? It's true. If we left him behind, it's only fair. Um, I'm going to, I think, move up with uh, my friends. My other friends, now that I have lots of them. So many friends. It's okay, you can say you have more friends than me. <laughs> uh, and that is the end of my turn. Okay, oh. fun. All right, so the enemies are gone. The yeah. cauldron's been... Cauldrified. Yes, cooked. Cooked. <laughs> that token's been explored, right? The, uh, the one closest to one? Bryn. I think... The, this one uh -uh. has not been that one hasn't, hasn't and the mm -hmm. one behind the pillar hasn't so either I, I checked out the one by the cauldron and i had to do a test but i didn't do that great on the test it required agility oh. mm. so but then you got the slayer potion out of it after that i thought that was out of the cauldron oh oh you meant to token. i did peek at both i think maybe not are we talking about the owl token or the this token i don't know well, anyway what do you want to look at so i will explore that token because since I'm already next to it. Great. That one? Uh, is Ocella, is it Ocella? You tell me. 
You tell me. <laughs> I, uh, I did not write this particular quest. My a very talented colleague, Brandon, did. And I think he pronounced it Ocella. Okay, yes. so I think that's your voice. One last thing. Ocella, Ocella calls after you. I've heard the outlaws whispering. Light from the sun points the way at the lone tree. They always sing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I added the singing part. <laughs> You start down the path, hoping that it is the right one. Oh, new boards have oh. been added. Place what? tiles 5B and 16B. Okay. And this. Here you go. <laughs> it's magically appeared before us. Wow, there's so much more forest to explore ahead. <laughs> so we've encountered a level 2 bandit, a zealot, and another level 2 bandit. You emerge from the dark and narrow path into a somewhat over, overgrown clearing. Place your hero on a highlighted space. Then you may perform an additional action. So it looks like it's the... One of these bottom two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I would like to take my second action. Oh, this is the additional action. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take my... Can I attack someone? Am I? You'll have to move one. I'll have to move one. Do you have reach? I do have reach. It says reach right here. So you can attack this bandit um, through this oh. space diagonally. Nice. Okay. I will do that. That's the red bandit. And this is my additional action. So I take this one right here. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to do the attack. Oh. In the app. So drag your portrait to the red bandit on the right hand side. The black cloak on top. I'm using the River Watch Spear to attack the, the bandit here. Mm -hmm. Smoke Bomb. After the attack, this enemy shifts two away from the hero. Okay. Wow. All right. Ooh. So uh, this one says spend two fatigue. During your attack, add one bolt. Mm -hmm. Do I do that after I roll? You do it after you roll, but you see how you already have two fatigue on your card? Mm -hmm. um, and your card can only hold three fatigue. Okay. So you won't be able to use it until you've cleared some fatigue off that okay. card. Okay. All right. I have a star and a plus symbol. So place one fatigue to add one star. I will go ahead and do that. Awesome. Two successes. Yes. So one, two. Click confirm. Seven damage. <gasps> nice. nice. So the, the bandit has 13? 13. 13 health remaining. Okay. Um, you can put the little arrow next to the seven damage if you're ever like, wow, how did I get this much damage? And Ooh. it will give you a little damage breakdown. Ooh. Six base damage, two weakness, negative one block. <gasps> okay, okay. Oh, we can... found out a weakness. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. This... Which is what? Oh, that is the weakness. It's Pierce. the Riverwatch spear. Well, the pierce, piercing, oh, tile piercing type of damage. Okay. So then Good press continue. Enemy ability reminder. After the attack, this enemy shifts two away from the hero. Okay. So now I'm going to do my, uh, my second action and then maneuver. In either order. Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip this card. Ready? I'm going to ready. Mm -hmm. This card, these three fatigue. And now I'm going to move. Okay. And I'll move. Uh, let's see, I have a move of three. Mm -hmm. I will move uh, the other bandit. I want to move closer to that bandit because I do yeah. have a pierce. So that's you what I want to follow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. We'll continue, but now we've all taken our turns this round, yes? We have. Yeah. I shall oh. end this phase. You're alone. I'm alone. <laughs> Darkness phase. So I'm not. I'm not sure you're, okay. you're gonna have a good time. Everyone, <laughs> remove a fatigue, right? Because darkness yes. phase. Yes. Darkness phase. Uh, I'm here to remind everybody. Take a rest. Thanks. We need that sometimes. Mm -hmm. We need that friend who reminds us. Uh, no one has any infection or terror right now, so that's great. We've all discarded one oh. sweaty fatigue. The bandit is targeting chance. All three. Which of seems them. rude. He doesn't even know you're over there. Um, okay, uh, with a serrated bolt, oh. so that's a range of two, and it has a movement of three. Mm -hmm. 
So because this particular map has um, areas of darkness between the tiles, so the tiles aren't connected, the bandit's not going to be able to reach chance. So instead, the bandit will attack the closest hero with the lowest health, oh. um, which is why I said oh, Varix is in a bit of a dangerous no. situation uh, because Varix is alone with three enemies right now. Ooh. So instead, our red bandit is going to attack Varix at a range of two, um, which uh, she's already two away from Varix. So Varix, uh, she's hitting you for five damage. All right, I got this. <laughs> Roll that D. It's, no, it's this one. One next to the shield. So, yep, the okay. orange one. All right. Ooh, I got a, a lightning bolt and a star. Lightning bolt, add one star to any hero, may discard one condition. And any hero, wait. Add one star and any hero may discard one condition. So if anyone had a bad condition, you'd be able to heal them every time you search. Okay. Cool. This one says one lightning bolt. Is this does this that's count on my weapon? That's just from your weapon. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's an action. So did that help me at all? So the surge um, on your hero sheet adds one success even if you can't do the rest of the ability. Okay, good, good, good. So for a total of two, two, you had five damage coming at you, so you've negated two. Oh no, I'm taking three. <laughs> The good news is, is that the first okay. time you hit zero, you'll take an injury, but you'll keep playing. Okay. All right. And this next bandit, going to target Chance. But as we know, that can't happen. So another five are coming at you, but I think we might have to move this bandit with the green base. Yep, because they won't be able to see Varix through the tree. So they'll have to take a step over to be able to see you and shoot you between the trees. Oh, good aim. Okay. All right. Winter Surge. Same. Is that the same thing? Same roll. Same yeah. roll. Okay. Take another three. Uh, I go I go down. I'm down to two. Uh-oh. Oh. So remember that interrupt button we were talking about earlier? Um, <laughs> you're, you don't, you're not down to zero yet? No, I'm not, done oh, to, I'm not down to zero yet. <laughs> Almost. I'm, I'm doom speaking. I should pull back. You're going to roll so great <laughs> on this last live. one. You're yeah, gonna you're going to live. Wait, More what do I do now? Mass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do I do now? Now a zealot's coming for you uh, with an eye If I did lash. not roll a bolt, so now I have to roll a bolt and I'm not going to. That always happens. <laughs> uh, the nice thing. Ties to Come on! I need you! What is it? Oh, a bolt and a star. Oh, it's the yeah. same thing. Okay. You're lucky I'm consistent here. Okay. Uh, they had to be three away, were they? One. Do they need they'll, that line of sight? They'll need line of sight. But I think if they stand... Hmm, Are you trying to help them? No, just wait, we're seeing it's even and possible. Use the line of okay, sight good. tool. <laughs> nice. uh, so what's really handy for me about this game is you can, if you're not sure about line of sight, uh, you can so click where a monster is or a hero, and it will tell you where oh, they have line of really sight neat. too. Cool. Um, so for example, the Zelda actually doesn't have line of sight <gasps> where they're standing. Um, so they'll have to at least move here. Cool. Um, Wait, they're trying to get oh, to this orange They're trying to space? get over to there, so they actually have to move. Or the red space. Back here. So orange, orange and red just means in line of sight in general. Red is like for melee, orange is for reach, and yellow is for range. Gotcha. So now that I've moved them back here, they should have line of sight. Okay, so I did roll a lightning bolt and a star. Awesome. Yes, lightning bolt and star. So you don't get poisoned or infected. So no damage? Well, there was three <laughs> and you negated two of them, which means you're still alive. I'm at zero. You're at one. You only take one damage. Oh, I only take one. It was three total. Oh. And uh, the lightning three bolt minus two. means mm -hmm. don't take the infect and get a success. So I'm at one. You're at one, you I'm live. Alive. All right. I'm alive, let's go. <laughs> That's the best we can help for. Could you hand me uh, the dice that blew across the table? Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's a really nice one health you got there. Be yeah. a shame if something were to happen to it. Oh no. Oh, the you smile on your face. <laughs> <clears throat> you hear what sounds like the call of a wren, and then a dart <gasps> shoots out <gasps> from somewhere among the trees. Oh. Each hero on tile 5B or 16B suffers six damage. No, suffers seven damage. Ability, agility negates. Each hero who suffers one or more damage also suffers one fatigue. So I'm dead. Duck, duck Varix. So you get to test agility first. Okay. Which is 
Black dice? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I need... So I need to have up to seven? Yes. Oh, but your agility bonus is zero. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not a negative one. Just, just, just roll a seven. On. I need to stay alive for wow. my people. On these max three. <gasps> okay. Four. And a lightning bolt. So five. So five. I'm at Which negative one. Which is not seven. Not seven. <laughs> is there any conversion here? Like, give up two victory points? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, uh, unfortunately, the good news is that um, you would take two damage, but since you hit zero after one, you don't have to take the second damage. So you just take the one damage, but you do get injured. Thanks. Injury time. <laughs> Bandits that are very dangerous. was a brutal round. You survived oh, the bandits. So I didn't survive but a, the bandits. But a, but a dart. Oh, the dart. If you would do the honors of wounding seven. your hero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wound very, Tell me what wound very you have. Very frustrated. <laughs> oh, the frustrated. That just fits into this I sneezed. <laughs> One of our heroes has gone down. I it's sense like... it in my nose. <laughs> your nose always knows. <laughs> so this is a minor injury. It says, after your attack, suffer one fatigue. Oh, okay. Does no. that count for this one? After uh, you perform an attack? After you attack. Oh, after. And now I go back to up to eight. Exactly. Okay. Your foes search the forest for you. Remove each enemy on a tile with no he heroes on it from the map. Then place those enemies on or adjacent to an explorer token on the tile with the most heroes. Don't worry, we already cleared the others. The bandit, the green one, pulls out several knives with one hand and raises a fully loaded repeating crossbow with the other. I thought they banned repeating crossbows. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, great, but hero phase. Oh. Okay, so the green bandit is number one on my crap list. Yep. Yeah, we don't like this repeating Where crossbow. Where is the green bandit? That right one. There. Okay. Do, do, oh, do. yep. Okay. Or for you at home. Boop. <laughs> well, who oh. feels empowered? I do not feel empowered. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it should be one of the... Uh, no, because you're already healed. I'm already oh. healed, yep. I need some heroes to come over to my tile. Did someone one of say us. heroes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, my favorite word, map. Okay, I need to get there first. So I'm already right next to the token. Uh, Led me through, please. You start down the path, hoping it's the right one. You emerge from the dark. Just like they said I would. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm right next to the, the um, what do we call it, a zealot? That is a zealot. Okay, so, um, oh, hello. I will kill you now. And let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to punch this zealot in the face with a hammer. Can I give one warning about attacking zealots? Which we would know if we had Love played that. the intro. Yes. Of oh. course. Every time you attack a zealot, it chooses a random enemy on the map and increases the damage they'll do by two. Um, so attacking zealots first can be really rough uh, because it can make other people's attacks hit really hard. Don't mind me, <laughs> I'll just be moving. Oh, uh, but my movement is slowed to one because mm -hmm. I'm impeded by the zealot. If only you had some way to get around uh, impeding. Perhaps an outmaneuver. Uh, so my first action, I will shift three, then attack an enemy. After this attack, flip this card. So Ooh. shifting three puts me right next to the green bandit, my arch enemy. One, two, three. And uh, I think that it would be pretty cool to use a slayer. <sighs> but I'm, I'm a melee character, so my slayer potion, am I allowed to give this to someone else? I don't remember. Nope. <laughs> we never asked that question. Okay, I'll save it for later. Uh, my Slayer Potion is pretty cool, but it allows me to attack three en enemies in a row, and I'm not close enough to three to do that, so I'll save that for later. Let's fight a green bandit. Hiya! Okay, and if I spin to fatigue during my attack, I can add one success and then move the enemy one space away from me. Mm. Hmm. That sounds fun. Well, let's see what I roll first. Uh, we've got our Warhammer out. And they've got a smoke bomb. Okay. One, one die. Let's go. One die. Okay, Bren. 
Now, do I need to choose now if I'm going to spend fatigue with my Warhammer? Nope. Doing your attack is after you've rolled, but before you've hit confirm on your successes. Love it. Okay, I got two successes. Uh, I'll add one more. Let's take some fatigue. I haven't even flipped this. After this attack, move that one space away. So one more success and confirm. Nine damage. Are you frightened of me? Continue. Uh, I'll move them one space away. Which seems like backwards, maybe? Like towards so what? I'm thinking if I move it here, mm -hmm. then I haven't used my maneuver action yet. Ah, uh, I did shift an attack, so I'm out of actions. That was one action. <gasps> shift an attack, I'll maneuver, uh, combo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three is my maneuver. <gasps> oh, and now brave. I'm next to two of them. Wow. So yes. is it worth using a Slayer Potion yes. if I can I only get two so. of those? Yes. Three? Okay, yeah. so that's that's my action. I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> Uh, my, 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 <laughs> my nose senses a lot of damage coming someone's <laughs> way. Oh, not towards me, I hope. <laughs> now, they also shifted two away because of their smoke bomb. So since that was before you moved, um, you yeah. could have if they could have gotten a little further away from you, um, they can. But if they like can't keep getting away from you because they're stopped by the edges of the map, then they just shift as far as they can. Okay, great. So that worked out. And now I will punch them both. Good, stand by your friend right there. Um, I'm gonna hit the bandit, the red bandit, uh, Warhammer. One die. Ooh. Nice. Oh, snap. Okay, so that was two success and two advantage, which you know I'm gonna take that fatigue. <laughs> oh no, I can only take one, but I can put one on. My rallying cry? So quick rules thing, which is after you're outmaneuver, this actually should have flipped over. Ha! All right. Now I have More steady fatigue defense room. up. Yeah. So I could pay two fatigue during your and an, or an adjacent hero's defense to add one success. Um, so I'll put one fatigue over on my rallying cry to just leave room for my steady defense. And boom. 12 damage. Wow. <gasps> of course. <laughs> one left. No. <gasps> Is it done, done? It's one left. So we keep, we one keep having left. the one or two left oh, on no. the enemies. It's tough. So this bandit is going to shift two away. One, two. What did the potion do? That means I'm going to also get a free attack because <gasps> they were standing next to Ooh, each other. Okay. And that's the green one. Oh, your turn. Continue. Continue. Me. Green bandit. Warhammer. Oh, oh wow. three successes confirmed. Seven damage. Done. Still not Wait, dead. Four left. Um, they're gonna shift two away from me. So let's see. I think that would be like one, two. Mm -hmm. That'd be perfect because if I come over, I can shoot them from there too. Love that. All right, I have used all my actions. You said you had a plan yeah. for shooting chance. I thought I would come over and try and mop up uh, these bandits that are fleeing bloodied from you. How dare they? So I will teleport over. It's okay that I'm impeded by this monster because I'm ranged, so I'll just attack from where I'm standing. So I'm going to, that's the red bandit or the green, green. one? Green. I've made them nice and squishy for you. I'm just gonna come over. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna bop up a little bit. I'm gonna sneeze. They're gonna go down. I, <laughs> I do sneeze knives, which helps. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. Um, What's hard is putting the knives up there to begin with. <laughs> it's really worth it. Secret attack. Uh, before my attack, I have to flip a shadow card, which is my hero card. So I flipped it over to add a success, and I do one, two, three with my die roll, which should finish off wow. our bandit. So there's our green bandit cleaned up. Uh, the following has been added to your inventory to be used later. Four leather and one taros from some no-toed boots and screamer bolts recipe. Remove the bandit. Ooh, goodbye. So we got some crafting materials, um, which would help in a campaign. Nice. Um, so it'd be really nice if I could shoot that bandit, but I don't think I have line of sight from where I'm at. And you used one movement to get over that tower? Um, I used an interact that then oh, gave okay. me my action back. 
because I was already next to the thing. So I, actually, I haven't moved yet. Um, so yeah, I think I just have to move up, which if I'm impeded, my speed is one, so I can move that far. And then I will try and get rid of this last bandit. Uh, the one that just barely hung on to life. Okay. Make us spend a full turn. Uh, one. Do we even need it if they just have one health left? So they're level two, which means they could block two. Oh. And my knives only do two. Gotcha. Um, so if I do two successes, that should be an auto kill. But if I only did one, we'd be rolling the dice gotcha. uh, a second time. Um, we'll do that. Leave nothing to chance. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. <laughs> Dang. Uh, great. We found some leather and taros, and we got the rabbit foot potion recipe. Yay. Thank you for your stuff. Goodbye. Also, move this bandit. Thank you. Thank you for your help here. <laughs> So you moved into two fighty actions. Who would like to do a thing? Hi, I got lonely again. I might as well follow <laughs> through the clearing. Oh, I cute. will move. One, two. Oh, Teleport. sure. Teleport. Um, ba 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 ba. This Continue. Next to us. I emerge. Oh, dang it! No bookshelves again. <laughs> So gonna, does that mean when you're impeded after moving two, you lose your third or fourth yes. step? Yes. So but then you can do another mm -hmm. maneuver. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'm just gonna attack. Oh, beep beep beep. I'm gonna hit continue. Continue. All right. You're not in my way. What's I'll the just... health on this one? <sighs> Untouched. Eighteen. We heard he can. Two. His friends. <laughs> okay. Um, two hits. Great, two hits. That could be more damage. Six. It was just a quick pop in. Ah, dang it! Ha! Ah, whoosh! <laughs> Cyrus, thank you for always um, uh, watching our backs. Ah, uh, you're welcome again. <laughs> Someone must carry the rear always. Attack. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Very nervous wizard. <laughs> I don't like being this close. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will pay one to convert that into a plus. And unfortunately. You can always go one for one, but your special ability is you get a single one for two. I get a single one for two, but unfortunately I'm maxed out now. Um, so I can't spend another, or can I put it on another card? You could do the regular one-to-one -one on any Regular one-to-one? -one? Okay, great. Regular one-to-one, -one, putting it on my wand. For and third. for a third, and confirm. Whoosh! Nine damage, only three left. Nice! And slashing is one of its weaknesses. Ooh. Continue. That is my final action, and therefore, I'm done. You did a very, very good job. Sarah. Yes, but it's still looking at me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I could help you. I would have to move closer. I do have a reach. Can uh, you move through those trees or just shoot through them? Uh, so you can't, you can't move or you can shoot, oh, through the diagonal? Yeah. Yeah, you can move through the diagonal, you can shoot through the diagonal. Ooh. So I could help you out. I could also explore, but last time I explored, I died. <laughs> you can also search the trees. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I think I would like to do that. Such a privilege. Mm, sorry, I see you're in trouble over there. Let me just do a little foraging over here. <laughs> Indris and I have got it. Don't worry. Oh, Indris. Yeah. So, Indris? <laughs> why is there blood on my figure? Because you, uh, you, you took know. an injury. Oh, that's so <laughs> sad. Okay, so now I drag this to the trees. Uh-huh. Does it matter which tree? Will I get different things? You might. This tree is closely entwined with the one next to it. Of the two, this one looks somewhat older and more steadfast. The branches seem to have trimmed, to have been trimmed, so one is much longer than the others. I can pick the fruit, climb the tree, forage the plants, fall the largest branch. Ooh. So our current objective is to find the outlaw hideout. Ooh, right. So yeah. <laughs> if I climb the tree, I maybe I can spot something from above. <gasps> if I follow the largest branch, maybe there will either be an item there or maybe there will be some clue for the outlaw hideout. 
what do you think? I don't know if picking the fruit or foraging the plants would help us find the outlaw hideout. Agreed. If only we had some way to prognosticate. Hmm. <laughs> I like climb the tree idea. Climb the tree. Okay. As long as it doesn't involve me dying again, I will climb a tree. <laughs> I feel like you're safest in trees. Okay. You prop your foot on a low branch in an attempt to leverage yourself into the tree. Test might. <gasps> so my might is negative one to, <laughs> to start okay. out with. All right. Okay. I need to have a good number here. I have four. <gasps> four stars. Minus one. Minus one. Continue. You try to pull yourself up, but oh. <laughs> Always a but. your foot slips <gasps> and you fall backwards. You're unhurt except for maybe your pride. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Not again. I love it. I, was you that, could do it again. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it again. It's only your first action. I, I'm not going to give up. Uh, I'm going to try to climb the tree again. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I got this. Wait, is there a, I mean, there's a chance, like, I could still do it, right? Can oh. I go, can I undo? Yep, so that's, uh, so it's, it's another cumulative test. Okay. Um, but if you don't want to do something. We love cumulative. Cum okay. Cumulative means uh, it saved your three from last time. Okay. Oh, um, try again. But we don't know what number that I need to get. Correct. Okay. Exactly. Higher try than again. Three. <laughs> okay, we got this. All right. Yes. Ooh. I got three plus uh, place one. Can I add two, two fatigue to make it? One, two, three, four, five, and a lightning bolt, which is add one, that'll be six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I the will... condition frustrated? Oh, minus one, so it's five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This condition? The uh, frustrated is not a condition. Frustrated ah. is an injury. Okay. Conditions will be tokens that are out on top of your cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, so that's five. I have to climb this tree. I have to do something <laughs> right you. for my team. You deftly swing up to the branches and find yourself with a great vantage point. <gasps> you may prepare two cards. Which is a Ooh. clip, yeah. Does that? Prepare is a, yep, it's a condition. So that's going to be the purple tokens in your little uh, token bowl. Token, boop. So you can choose two cards to place it on. It can be any cards you can flip over. So your hero sheet, your weapon, or your skill. And this allows you to, uh, when most people have to use an action to flip a card, you can flip yours just by discarding that token. Ooh. Okay. Nicely done. I think that was it. I was hoping to find the outlaw hideout. It did say you had a vantage point. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Okay, so you, you didn't need your movement, right? Your maneuver? No. You may if you want, but no, oh. no fresh. You're oh. in a tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so you've used two actions and everybody else got a turn well, as well. Well, maybe huh? I'll move one backwards so that Stay if, safe. Yeah. if I want yeah, stay safe, and then also if I want to move towards the next point, I'm, um, well, unless we're going that way, you know, which point? Stay with the group. <laughs> that might safe. be good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to hit in face. Darkness falls. Resolve the infection and terror. We don't have any. Discard one fatigue. Uh, oh, it's this one. The zealot is attacking Varix. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, darn it. I'm in the tree again. And its ability is Mind. The zealot recovers two health. Okay. So the zealot, is that the one with the bow? That's what, the what is that weapon? Here. One, two, three. It is three away from you, so it's in range, and it has line of sight. Mm -hmm. So it's coming at you. Uh, three damage unless you can negate okay. it with your... So I'm in the tree, but, but this zealot knows I'm there and ends up wanting to attack me because I'm vulnerable. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm rolling this one. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is all gathered on the ground, and then it looks yes. up, and it's like, ah, oh, I can hit that guy. Yes, yeah. and I'm just like, ah, uh, you know, I'll why not? i safe here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that a big shiny dragon in the tree? <laughs> so I have one star, one bull, and one, one advantage. Nice. So I can I take a fatigue to help my de defense? Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Ooh, ooh. Ugh, and you're then not that adjacent adds, to me. And then this surge adds one star, mm -hmm. so I have three. Yep. Hey, you don't take any damage. Oh, 
You're good. Amazing. You nailed it. That's You're right. golden. Ah. I, threw, I threw like sticks <laughs> and avoided the attack. So it was at one health, but it gets to mend two. Do we do that for it? Nope. The apple have already taken care of that. Oh. It's smell of an app. You hear what sounds like the call of a wren, then a dart. Oh, shoots no. Out from somewhere. <laughs> Each hero on these tiles suffers seven agility negates. If you suffer one or more damage, also suffer just one fatigue. So that's going to be all of us this time. Black dice. Yeah. Should we roll these? Oh, because it's an agility test. You got five, oh. so you only take two damage. Can I do anything else? It's just straight up successes. Okay. Okay. You got four plus a lightning bolt. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna fatigue a lot. So I've got three, uh, three, <laughs> and then I'm going to spend uh, one fatigue onto my sheet to empower myself to add two more. And then I'm also going to, because I have a lightning bolt, I'm going to spend one and add it to one of my other cards on my shared pane to add um, one more. And then I'll take one, one day. No, yes. One damage. Okay. No, no. I will spend one more to put on my glimmer wand, and I will take no damage. <gasps> and you didn't have to spend a fatigue for your. Service. Oh, I did. You actually get that one back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. Indris warns me a little in my ear, and I just kind of. Or it's more like a, what? And it goes right by my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I rolled a six, and I have uh, a really good agility, so I was just good. <laughs> OK, well, impressive. Yeah. Uh, we both took some damage, so we have to take one fatigue, because them's the rules. I have those cat-like reflexes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Your foe starts the forest for you. Remove each enemy. Uh, they're all going to come to us, but they're already there. The zealot screams an alien incantation. A foreign but a single name, Cyrus. You understood the translation. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> I should also say, as that person says something at, at me, I remember I don't have good agility. <laughs> and that dart boomeranged back and hit me in the head, and I go down to six. Oh, speaking of don't have good agility, I actually take one more damage because I forgot I have a minus one. Yep, same. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, so you do take one fatigue. I do take one. Okay. Gotcha. Damage. Well, somebody else should go first this time. You're in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> so I might want to use my Vigor Potion to heal myself three because I'm already on my first injury. No judgment. No <laughs> judgment. <laughs> I'm, I'm using it on myself. Drink that potion. Hey, okay, do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I go spell. higher than eight? Uh, you can't go higher than your maximum health. Well, then I probably shouldn't yet. Oh, hold, hold You're going to wait? Right. Yeah, because okay. I, okay, yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to use my free flip and discard this fatigue. Okay. The old prepare. And now I can start attacking. If I decide to attack this one, what is this? So I use my free flip, my free flip, <laughs> <laughs> my free flip to switch my character sheet over to survivor, which will uh, then when I pay to fatigue, I can add one bolt when I attack. For the spear, I'm also going to, uh, I think I'm going to keep that, which is going to be Riverwatch spear. I do like that I can enfeeble the enemy, which I don't even know if I've been doing, but that's negative 20% to enemy attack damage. I don't know if I've been doing that. So when you attack um, and you roll your die, you need to spend one surge on it. That's what the one surge colon means. So when you attack, you should roll your blue die, and if you roll a lightning bolt, you can spend it on that uh, that ability. Got okay. it. So that's instead of your regular surge power. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Or um, Varix actually has a special ability that they're on right now called Survivor, which allows them to spend fatigue to add a second surge to their attacks. Oh. So if Varix has two surges, Varix could spend one surge on their Riverwatch Spear ability and one surge on their Hero Sheet ability. Pretty sick. Okay. Mm. So as, as a group, should yeah. I finish off? Well, I am in a tree. Is there certain actions I can do while in the tree? Can I scout? I think uh, my pitch is that we start exploring new tiles and maybe not 
right before it goes to the darkness so you're not left all alone there. okay i like that i like that plan so i can get rid of the bad guy because i'm right next to him awesome all right and i'm pretty sure that i can just climb down from the tree i don't have to take an action yeah that was just our flavor text mm -hmm. okay so i'm right there and i can move up to three mm -hmm. one two I'll move two to diagonal of that circle. This one? Yeah, either side of the other character. Should be two boop, on both boop. sides. Okay. Oh gosh. Now I'm gonna take I'm my caught. character and move and explore that blue token. Can I rotate this? Sweet. You start down the path, hoping that it is the right one. You never know. You arrive a uh, place tile 8B. You arrive at a small rocky hollow in the forest hidden away from prying eyes, even by the standards of this night-choked wood. And then it goes... Uh, flip. Okay. Look there. Ooh, you spot a chest tucked in the shadow of a rocky outcropping. <gasps> Ooh, a chest. I'm going to choose one with the gold. Nice. And it's going to go really close to the cauldron. Yes. Okay. Okay. A narrow path snakes into the woods on the other side of the hollow. Place one explore token. All right. So now, place your hero on the highlighted space. Then you may perform an additional action. So I can only move one more time, and that wouldn't really get me any closer to the chest. You can always use a second action to keep moving. Mm -hmm. Oh. But then I wouldn't be able to explore the chest. The right. token did give you an additional action back. It did. Okay, so my additional action will be to move okay. to the chest. One, two, three. And then I will explore to interact with terrain yeah. as my second real action. Great. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Uh oh spawn the following <laughs> enemy. We oh. Gotta, oh, hold on. We might want to undo your movement. Because the bandit is standing right where you wanted to stand. Oh no! And Not this is again. a red level one bandit. So then, where did it just push it just you went, back? Or? I just didn't take my free action or my second. I, I oh, I yeah. understand. Yeah. you didn't so, get to go near. So um, my free action is. Well, you still had one movement maneuver left mm -hmm. from earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna move one step closer. And then I'm going to do a reach, nice. a reach attack, which is pierce, and I'm going to attack that enemy, yeah. which is it's going to be, one. it's the lower one, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm a little nervous here. It's going to be mine. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm going to use my river watch spear. Okay, this is a smoke bomb also where it shifts two away from the hero after the attack. I do have a frustrated minor damage. So after the attack, I do suffer one fatigue. However, I'm going to be trying to roll uh, charges or surges. I'm going to try this. What is that? One success, one oh, advantage. No. Okay, so one star, place one to add one oh, fatigue. Oh, you already did. Already did, so it's two. And then during the attack, add two more. Nice. Your so, four. and then I, I'm going to spend two to add one surge. And I'm going to use spend that surge to add two more <gasps> and enfeeble the enemy. Yes. What? And Down enfeeble up. means negative 20% enemy attack damage. You're at six successes right now. So okay. underneath um, where you input your successes, there'll be a statuses button. You can click that to add the enfeeble. Okay. Aha. Enfeebled, and I and I put down six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I think the most anyone's hit for yet. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-four oh! damage. Oh! <laughs> Insane. Okay, I'm tired of getting. <laughs> I am, it was weak to you. And it was weak. I was grumpy. So <laughs> negative zero were blocked. Plus six weakness. Eighteen base damage. Hell yeah. Continue. 
Remove that bandage. Yeah. Get shit out of here. Oh, but hello. But I do, I do suffer. You're of my chest. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so after this attack, flip this card. After your attack, suffer one fatigue. At what point can I put this on and then flip it? You can. When two timings it's happen at the same time, it's up to you as the player to decide. Yes. Want yes. to discard okay, that fatigue. Bon. That was a great turn. Yeah. yeah. This is some Max Min gaming now, over here. I love it. Now I, I'm going to use my... That was my free action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can't explore the chest this turn. But you could mm. call dibs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, if someone wants to explore it. Uh, well, I'll just move one step closer, but, or maybe that, I don't want to block it from someone. Ooh, if you use all three, you can get mm -hmm. uh, within range of the next explore Oh yeah, token. I'll do that. Remove bandit, and then it says continue. Oh, there's some script here. The bandit's limp body. <laughs> Hits the dirt. You see a creased sheet of paper tucked into its cloak. <gasps> it's a note, <gasps> apparently addressed to Muck for Brains, with the following underlined <laughs> several times. The inseparable brothers are both filthy liars. <gasps> That's what the note said. The inseparable brothers. Don't trust those brothers. Great and turn. Thank you. Power turn. Yeah. Who feels prepared to follow that epic turn? I would like to fight. <laughs> I don't like being last. <laughs> I get, I don't so want to. is turning more and more into a grandma. I know, <laughs> you're right, he's down here. I would like, I would like. I would like to do it. <laughs> yeah. I no. knitted you new socks. Ah, uh, I'm going to go after this boy. <laughs> Bam, that boy's two. Okay, at least two, and I'm also going to, nope, that's it, <laughs> attack. Bam, baby, you're off the board. Ooh, Ooh. easy as that. Shh. Goodbye, zealot. I told you I had it. That's what you get for being overzealot. <laughs> hey, I can't um, help it, the puns are <laughs> I'm going to now move. Uh, to, towards one of the fun things. Um, so we went through this one. We did. So one. I'm gonna go behind, I think, because um, I'm closer. Yeah, and I'm going to interact with it. All and that right. was only three spaces, so you do have a move left. I, we got six minerals and some incense and some candles. Ooh, incense! <laughs> the zealot and I have very similar Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> Um, great. And then I'm going to interact with this. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. You can zoom in. Ah. Come here. And also rotate the map if it would help. Ha, there we go. Your path starts down, hoping it will be the right one. 2B and 9B. 2B. Or not 9B. Eh. That was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> There. Okay. I can't stop. Should we move everything down? Move yeah. it a little. A scooch. One scooch. It's kind of up there, actually. Does it matter, everyone? We'll all be able to reach it easier yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to just put it there. It will differ from the map on here, but this is where we're playing. Yeah. Um, it's all hidden by darkness in between anyway. Great. We need another tree and some, um, Ooh. a barricade. Yes. So, one barricade. Yep. And one tree. And two explore tokens as the path goes deeper into the forest. And two bad guys. Uh -oh. oh no. What kind? Two orange wolf and a one orange fay. Spawn. Uh, one, uh, the wolf right here behind the tree and the fay just behind that wolf. They're oh, friends. Also following the buddy system. They are. <laughs> and you reach a place in the wood where the path is worn a little wider. Place my hero in the highlighted spaces. So one right here, I'm gonna be. You're so focused. far away. I really am. Um, then fine. I perform an Being additional alone. action. So I get one last action, which mm -hmm. I will whoosh, attack. Ha. 
And I'm going to attack the wolf. The wolf we know doesn't like slashing. And your wand is <gasps> slashing. That's right. Ha ha. Wand. I'm going to attack. Ha. Let's go. Okay. Great. So one star. Add that one. I also have a lightning bolt, so I'm going to be able to add one. And I can move uh, it to any card. I will move it to my glimmer one. You don't have to take your fatigue to do so your I search. I don't. Oh, that's right. You can just move a that. fatigue off of a card where you'd like to have more space. Ooh. Correct. Well, your your main guy can do the special power, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to move that to my glimmer wand, and I will add one more, so it gets two. Woohoo! Bam! Slash that damage. Four damage. And that is, is like, what, how much is love? critters too much? A lot. Twenty five. <laughs> Oh, um, man. Uh, yeah, he's Monster's a big, he's big bad wolf. Um, but that's okay. I've got this. Don't worry about me, everybody. That is my last action, and I am now stuck with these boys. Ooh, but it's I'm okay. sorry. Indrex I hit a button when I grabbed it. Uh, enemy ability reminder. Feral, after the attack, this enemy shifts one space toward you. Then if it's adjacent, it'll bite you and you'll suffer one damage. Okay, it doesn't get near me yet. Aha! You should probably go help Cyrus. <laughs> you think? I don't know. At least one of us. Or, you know, maybe or someone split else. Up. You yeah. I'll split I'll, up. I'll go be a tank. I see how it is. <laughs> you want to spread the misery. Just have another shot of espresso. <laughs> I feel like I should go protect, but oh, do you not want to go on your own because more enemies might spawn? I just don't want to be alone with enemies. I also want to get lost in the woods. Like, some of these tokens have gotten us lost in the woods. I see. Sure. Like, we found a way forward. Well, here's the thing. Bren is never scared. <laughs> not of darkness, not of enemies. Um, so maybe you team up with Cyrus and I explore the final token by myself mm. just to know what's out there. Although we do have two tokens here. I can explore the final token because I can get there in one move. And you only have a speed of three, which will be harder for you. How about that? That's very impressive. Yes. I got the zoomies. <laughs> yeah. You know, it happens. It happens. And you, the only thing to do with the zoomies is zoom in it. Zoom in <laughs> uh, I can start there. Do it. So okay. I'll do the zoomies. I'll go one, two, <laughs> three, four. And then I will interact with that token. Zoom, zoom. Uh, you start down the path, hoping that it is the right one. The path winds and twists with little apparent intention. After a while of trudging down the barely defined path, your leg catches on something. A tripwire! <gasps> you have only a moment to react. Test agility. Oh, no. It really feels like an outpost. I think, no, but there's this is barricade the here near which could be an outpost. And Outlaw hideout. And yes, this could just be Ooh. a trap because one of these paths are liars. Uh, I've rolled the worst roll you can roll. <laughs> oh, no. um, so one, two, I surge for three, four. I don't have anything to spend the second surge on, but thankfully I have an agility plus two. Um, so I just barely pass wow. at six. Uh, you hear a kathunk as the tripwire triggers a crossbow hidden in a nearby tree. Oh, my. You throw yourself out of the way just in time as the bolt whistles past your head. You resume your march, being a little more attentive to your surroundings this time. Uh, your journey in the dark eventually leads you to familiar ground. Place your hero on a highlighted space, then you may perform another action. Ooh, uh, so okay. I came back here, but I get my action back. That's nice. Good. Yeah, uh, that there's, nice. So now uh, we know which way to go. I yeah. looked, and there was a tripwire over there. Would not recommend. Aww. Zero out of ten uh, Yelp review. Good to know. <laughs> Understood. One, two, three. Normally I'd try it for myself just to be sure because I'm strong and mighty, but maybe not this time. Uh, so I'll start down this path hoping it's the right one. Please come help. <laughs> I uh, found some bad guys, a barricade, and no bookcases. <laughs> oh, still no bookcases. Never. <laughs> Why does this forest have more bookcases? That's my one complaint. Uh, I'm here to help my bestie out, um, so I place in the highlighted space. Uh, and I'm just gonna attack that wolf now. Actually, I got an additional action moving through the second token. So I'm going to 
Oh, if I flip, I can't also attack. Wait, you moved interact, moved interact. The interacts didn't count, but you have done two oh, maneuvers. Right. I was just cheating at my own game. No, no, it you're fine. I had the same thought. That, like, <laughs> oh, great, we're back at zero. Yeah, I got another one back. Yeah. No, uh, so in that case, I could do one attack on the wolf, mm -hmm. or if I end this turn, switch to my Shadow Claw Gauntlet, I can do extra bonus weakness damage to the wolf next turn, um, which could be nice. Yeah, because okay. the wolf has a lot of damage. It does. Left. Maybe He's a big prep. Boy. Maybe let's be forward thinking because I'll come. I'll come punch a wolf for you. Let's Perfect. Prep with a high five. Ha! Nailed it. <laughs> uh, so and then on my other hand, a big claw <laughs> of my shadow. <laughs> yeah, as soon as the yeah. high five hits, they just go shing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that'll be my turn. Nice friendship gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, oh, I'm alone. Uh, this is awkward. Oh, I no. don't like. I'm I'm the leader, you guys. Uh, <laughs> She catches up. I step one space. I interact with the token. I follow the path onto the highlighted spaces. So because the highlighted spaces are full of people, you actually are going to bump someone and then Aha. spawn in the highlighted space. So who would you like to uh, bump into an adjacent space? Who's got more health? I think it's me. <laughs> yes. Uh oh But um, if I bump you, you're adjacent to a wolf. And if I bump Cyrus, Cyrus can be still in the corner. Yeah, so I could bump that way. I actually went this way so that I would be more prepared to attack next yeah. turn. Yeah. Oh, I love it. If you will place me. Yes. And I still have two more movements, so let's get, let's just move one so that I can be next, uh, close enough to that wolf to do wolf punch. Oh my gosh, actually, I'm kind of just curious what happens Wolves don't like slashing. They right? don't Correct. like slashing. Ooh. Okay, so let's pretend I. Before I do my final action of attacking, I'm gonna use the. The prepare. The oh, ready. I'm gonna ready. Thank you. And I'll get rid of two fatigue as I flip over to my warden's blade. Oof, new weapon. Okay. Uh, Great, I could pay two fatigue during your attack or defense if you're adjacent to another hero, add one. Oh, mm -hmm. And I'm adjacent to you. I, I could add a success to my own? Mm-hmm, because I'm here to help during your attack or defense Ooh. if you are adjacent to another hero. So I help you by Watch flanking this. the enemy. I'm, do, I'm like <laughs> working extra hard because I know you're watching. I'll put two fatigue there. I, am annoying, the I don't have to decide quite yet, but we'll do it. I'm the French judge, so I'm very hard to impress, presumably. I get it. I get it. Okay, we're rolling one die with this blade. Oh, yeah. Nice. That could be four successes, so I'm going to take two fatigue. Oh, I'm not afraid. And we've got four successes plus five because I was showing off. Nice. And, uh, and then it's feral, so it's going to shift one space towards me. So it will hit me for one, but I don't care. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Because it uh, plus five because of the weakness. So that was pretty sweet. Good hit. Uh, the wolf is still at six. But um, now the feral, it's hitting me for one. So I'll just mm -hmm. take one damage. And I don't get to defend then. Nope. Right? It's got big claws and big teeth. Okay, so that was my turn. I think that's it for this round, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. The darkness falls. Remove a fatigue, everyone. Yay! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, gosh. Where? Where, where? Um... All right. Uh, so, Varix, there's a Fae coming for you. No, but never mind, you're on a different board. It always wants you. I think because your health is lowest. <laughs> uh, so this Faye has some things to say. Mm -hmm. But it's not coming after me. No. Oh. No, I think it comes for the closest and lowest health, you said? It does. I have eight uh -oh. health right now. Six. So it will hit Brittany. Good. I've come to take damage. Um, so I'm going to take three unless I defend against them. You got this. And it's just one die, huh? Mm-hmm. But they're only doing three to you. Ooh, Ooh, I will take a fatigue to take nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the fade did back off a space because it's ranged. Nice. Next one is coming for chance. Yeah. The wolf. 
that's going to do four damage, unless you have something to say about that. I don't, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? I do have more to say uh, than you'd think, which is, so I have one success. I surge to add two, so I'm at three. And then I use my ability careful to add a fourth success, and then after the defense, I actually get to shift one. Ooh. So I'm trying not to knock down, take out a tree with me. <laughs> Go in there. So you're nice. moving a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. And we took no damage. That was pretty nice. An eerie darkness curls around the trees here. And you could swear you feel something breathing down your neck. Each hero on 2B or 9B, which is the one that says, the, yep, yep, where we yeah. are, the party is, casts Will 7. Okay. If you fail, you're terrified. Okay. Oh, I'm just chilling over here by my treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. A, a treasure like, is a great comfort. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should say it terrifies one card. Mm -hmm. So it must be an effect that goes onto a card. B but no matter, with all this will, uh, I've got a plus That's one first. will, so I'm going to go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six out of seven. I don't think there's any bonus I can add. Oh. Five. Ooh. I also oh, only have five. Oh no. Plus one for six. Plus one for six. So six as well. That's so unfortunate. So you need Close. seven. You need seven. Uh, and I'm a scaredy cat. I only have. I have a will of minus one. <laughs> <laughs> but I did roll the best roll. Oh. But even if I spend fatigue, it would also only be six. Uh, oh. So instead, I will just also fail, and we'll We're all be all a terrified. So that terrified says, card. Tara says, when time passes, suffer one fatigue on each terrified card. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and choose um, a skill, your weapon, or your hero card to put your terrify on. Oh. Um, and then every time when we get to darkness phase, remember how we've been saying resolve infection and terror and then skipping it? Well, we don't skip that anymore. <laughs> mm. Well, I do. Oh. Oh. Stout-hearted Variks with the treasure chest. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we've terrified our cards. We continue. You hear what sounds like the call of a wren? Woohoo! Uh, oh. Heroes in this tile we've all left oh, need to roll ability, but we'll ignore that because we're not there. And the foes are coming for us. Uh, they're all going to go to the most popular spot where they already are. Twisting their arms together, the Fae creates a strange effigy with their hands. We don't know what it was, nope. but it was strange. They're and it looked like something. somebody's face. Huh. Oh, wow. Uh, Chance, you're right in the middle of it. Maybe you should go, or you want to open that chest real bad, I bet. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm just taking my time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Cool here. Checking for traps. <laughs> yeah. Is uh -huh. there really? Would you like me to finish off this wolf for us and you could come forward and hit the Fae? Or I could start it on the Fae. The Fae's weak to crush and I don't have any crush, so I wouldn't be very helpful at that. Do the wolf. Let's go I've wolf. got, because I can All crush. Right. And wolf has how much health left? Only six health left. Okay, you got this. Um, I, I got it a little less than I had hoped. <laughs> uh, so that's only two. Seven is more oh. than six. The weakness really came through on that one for me, <laughs> so we're going to remove the wolf. All right. Bye-bye. Um, I have another action. I can hit the fey, or I could uh, look at this tree. Um, Always look at a tree. I do like Don't trees. Don't slip. It hurts. <laughs> Uh, right, right, it hurts pride. The tree has round green fruit on the lower branches, plants and mushrooms growing up its side, and a sturdy trunk you could climb. Um, I just think climbing a tree looked so fun last time mm. uh, that I would like to be a cat up a tree. Maybe we can <laughs> find, you know, some outposts. Uh, you, def you definitely swing up the branches and find yourself with a great vantage point. I prepare two cards. Oh, sweet. And then you find mirrors of all shapes and sizes hung from the upper branches of the tree. How'd they get lakes in there? Whoa! <laughs> a lantern hangs from the sturdiest branch, fixed in place with a nail and chain so that it can only be rotated slightly. After lighting the lantern, you see that its light could fall on a round golden mirror or a smaller crescent-shaped silver mirror. Ooh, what did the original oh. thing say? Light needed to be passed on what, sunlight? 
Uh, Ooh. we can go to the quest log and see what our oh, a quest log. Our friend said, "Do you remember where we got that information?" That was uh, near the that beginning. That was the very beginning. Light from the sun points the way at the lone tree. Okay. Ah. The lone the tree. One. one is the crescent and one is the sun. Mm -hmm. Point the light at the sun. Point the lantern at the round golden mirror. Feels right. You angle the lantern's light toward the golden mirror. The light bounces from the mirror to a small hand mirror, then again to a jagged shard of mirror lodged in a high branch, and then finally down to illuminate a path leading elsewhere in the forest. Ha! Shining lantern on the round mirror illuminates this path. <gasps> I think that's the way to the barrack. Yeah. Oh, we love post. it. You love to see it. I'm Thanks so far away. away. <laughs> How do I loop back? There's only one exit. I can only go, yeah, I can only go forward, okay. Okay, did you move any moves you want? You're, Ooh, am I in people's way? I can probably shift one forward. Sure. Uh, and then I am going to use both my prepares before my turn ends to just uh, not have such um, exhausted cards. Love that. Should I, I go? Like you got to oh, open the I got to open the chest. We yep. got to know. know. All right. So I take the explore action to interact with the chest. A well-crafted lock holds the chest closed. You will need a deft hand to manipulate the tumblers and open the lid. Test agility. So I have zero agility to start with, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna roll... Two black dice. Okay. All right. Okay, I just need, I need this to work. <gasps> okay, so I have one, two, three, plus one fatigue for four, and then I have a lightning bolt. Does that work? Okay. Mm -hmm. So add one star Great. with the lightning bolt. And remember how we all just got terrified? Do you remember what the rest of your surge ability does after adding one star? Add any hero, and any hero may discard one condition. Who has <gasps> not gone? You, you're the only person who's gone. Yes, and I was able yeah. to get rid of my Two terrify. Of so left. I'll remove yours. <gasps> Thank you. And then, ha ha, I feel braver. Who thought it was possible? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm at five. Unless you want to take one more fatigue, I you took don't it. have to. You can do it again because you have two pluses. You can take a fatigue for each of them. Okay. If you have a place to put it. Okay. That's six. So that's six. six. Okay. <gasps> you are closer <gasps> <laughs> to opening the chest, but there is still some effort required. Okay. Worth it. Worth it. So I have one more action left. Two. Do it again. Well, oh, yeah, right. You wanted to move. Okay. I will flip this over to discard my my weapon for free, so I have two more fatigue spots. And oh. now I will explore the chest one more time using the explore action. Good call. Okay. I'm going to roll for agility. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> yes. I am going to have three, four, five, six... Seven. Seven. One, two. Okay. Yeah. That feels like more than enough. Yeah. Okay. How strong is this chest? Come on. I don't know, but I'm not risking it. Okay. Seven. The following has been added to your inventory to use later. <laughs> <laughs> Nine metal from a corroded blade, six bone and three cloth from a ritual bone spur, three leather and one vigos from some leather pouches. Congrats. That's it. That's <laughs> would be very it's, handy if we were playing campaign mode. That would be it's very, very handy important if we were for the playing campaign. campaign mode. Hey, it was really just the, the fun of it. I had to do it. I, there was no yeah. way I was skipping that chest. I had no, to do it. You okay. really had no, to. you okay. would have thought about it all day. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I would have gone home thinking about it. Okay, yeah. we're good. You never would have felt like you left this forest mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. It's mm -hmm. true. But I certainly will. Uh, we're going to go one. To punch you. Uh, <laughs> the classic battle cry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how it goes. Uh, we're gonna, let's see, do anybody have, does anyone happen to remember what Faye are vulnerable to? Crushing. In, in the oh enemy gosh. screen, it'll remind you as well. And it is crushing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, I've moved. I'm gonna take an action to. Uh, prepare my card. Prepare my card to be 
Um, not prepare. You know, ready. The ready action. I, I think I have something that makes it easier to ready, but... It's on the other side it's of on your the battle other cry. Side. Oh, well. All right. So now we've got that hammer back. And... Take this bag. We're gonna roll. Nice. Ooh. Okay. I only have one spot for fatigue left, so I can only do three um, out of those possible four. My sweat is at a maximum. You can't put it on the. <gasps> Sorry. Might I as just well. flipped it. That was Might part well. of the plan. Okay, we're doing four hits. For a total of 16 Whoa. damage to, ha ha ha, yes. silly Faye. That but, was, that was good. Thanks. But let's see, flipping my weapon was one of my actions. So mm -hmm. I have completed my turn. That's no? okay. okay. Me the next. Oh, the Faye does something first. Remember oh. that strange effigy? Oh, hello. The Faye folds their hands back as you strike and you see both them in a flickering image of Cyrus before you. Have you come to collect that hug we discussed? <gasps> the Fae only suffered half the attack's damage. Cyrus suffers six damage. Insight negates. Oh, thank goodness. Because I was going to drop. Uh oh. I but I go down to, to two. You get to test insight <gasps> first. I get to test it. Okay. okay. okay so I'm taking six. Ooh, Ooh, five, six, seven. I negate all of it. Wow. Cyrus too smart for that. Cyrus just scales, wrong hug. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said it was never a, oh, I see. <laughs> the fae laugh with glee, dispelling the effigy as they release their hands. <laughs> <laughs> they had fun. Okay, now okay. it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Um, I will. Flip my glimmering wand because we know that this does crushing damage it, that it's weak to. Um, so I'm going to get rid of two of these exhaustion tokens. And my terror is on that one. So does that go away when I flip it? It does. <laughs> I'm flipping, baby. Um, now I have to be within reach. So I will use my next maneuver. So one, two. And then I only have to be one away, correct? Mm -hmm. Great. So I'll stay right there. And I will attack. Uh, oh. Oh, oh no, nothing, 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 nothing. Wait, wait. I can spend two fatigue before my attack and discard two from another card. Oh, nice. Should I do that? for? Is that just like a free action? Um, it costs two fatigue to do. So you'd put two fatigue on your staff to do something like remove two fatigue from your empowerment. Ah, okay, ability. so we don't need to. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to attack this vein with my crooked staff. And attack. Ha! Okay. Two plus sides. <laughs> um, that's okay. So I can... Put a fatigue on my card and get two, and I will spend one um, more, and I'll put it on my staff to add another, and I will swing. Whoosh! <gasps> Twelve damage. Not bad. Wow. Is that enough? No, it has three left. No. And I'm out of my turn, unfortunately. Uh oh, you want to hit that in face? Yeah, oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, darkness phase, remove a fatigue. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right, resolve infection and terror each hero discards and continue. Target Brin, flying while moving this em enemy, ignores elevation terrain, underlays, and cannot be impeded. Good. After the defense. Come for me. Yes. After the defense, the target either discards one focus token or suffers two fatigue. Their attack is one and or three, and they move three. Okay. Uh, the attack. Uh, and how or much they damage? can fight three reach can move four. A three, three um d range. Apologies. There we go. That's in range, and they moved away. Okay. okay I'm rolling my d. Two successes. What was the total damage? Three damage total. I'll take one. That's fine. Okay. I get six. So Done. I can go to five. 
Um, oh, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't do seven more. Okay. <laughs> okay. All of us need to re um, do our terror checks. So um, uh, we hear another spooky voice in our ears. Um, and we have to do, it, it will test us with seven. Each hero fails. For Will? I, I believe so. Is it Will? Should say test Will seven. Ah, yes, test Will. <gasps> Ooh, nice. You uh, could do it. I only need to pay one fatigue to make that work. Great. Uh, and I passed. Nice. Me and my old Will minus one will fail and terrify a card. <laughs> ah, okay. Four, five, I will absolutely pay um, five, six, seven. I'll just pay two. Great. Put it here, actually. Done. I don't take any terror. Continue. No one's there. We ignore the dart. Hero phase, baby! You are okay. so safe. Okay. You're good. You're super so, safe. All right. Who's next? I think I should take my turn first for this round. Uh, I think I'm going to be trying to catch. I'm going to try to catch up to all of you, and I have to go back to the other map. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I do have a lot of fatigue on my character card, so I think I am going to take one action and it. And what is it called? Ready. Mm -hmm. Where you flip your card over. Okay. So my second action will be to explore that token. All right. It says, oh, oh, okay. It says, your journey in the dark eventually leads you to familiar ground. Place your hero on the highlighted space, then you may perform another action. Oh, you go back to our home base. Yeah. Okay, you want to go here? So I really am. Okay, do we remember... <laughs> It was through this one. It was through that one. Well, the other one got us lost. Yeah, don't go that yep. way. Okay. Yeah. And you get so, your action back from this, we should remember. Okay. So I'm going to use one movement to go forward space. Yep. Go and then explore with my second action again. Yeah. You start down that path, and it's going to take me. You place your own highlighted You space. go back to the Witch's Cauldron. Oh, wow. <laughs> go back to Witch's Cauldron. <laughs> then you may perform yeah, so an additional well. action. So I'll do my... Two, three, movement. There. Then my free action yeah. for that move will be to explore that space. I, I'm I'm doing a marathon here. Yeah. You're doing great. You're cruising. I am now gonna end up next to that tile right there. Uh -huh. Perfect. And now I can perform an additional action. I have no more movement, however. Mm -hmm. So I think you can use uh, maneuver as an action. Yep. Oh. Okay. Yes, I will do that. And I need to go to that one? This, no, this one. one. Oh, okay. So I'll move three towards that one. And now I can no longer go, right? Yes, because you flipped a card. You flipped your hero sheet? Yes. So you've done two maneuvers and flipped your hero sheet. Okay. I, I tried my best. You did hey, so good. You're so close. <laughs> you sped run the forest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you're wait, 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 one wait, away. Wait, this way. Okay, nice. Um, who wants to take out the Fae, and then the rest of us should get through? I can get rid of the Fae. I, my other option is to, my first action was flipping this card over and taking, removing my three fatigue. I could just flip it back over, pretend like I never took that Recon. action, and mm. then I'd be able to get over, but I'd start with three fatigue. Join I don't, this party. I don't know what happens when, I, when I'm all full of you fatigue. You just can't do the thing. You just can't do those okay. things, and if you would take fatigue, like the app says, suffer fatigue, you take it as damage instead. Oh, pleasant. Do you know All right. What? So my last action will be to explore that, and that one is. Oh hi. Do I need? Do I? We're by the one tree. Yep. You're oh, here. You were right here. You went through there. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm all caught up. Yay! It no, feels so nice to be reunited. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> Varix, we've been waiting for you. We didn't do anything without you, we promise. Just killed one wolf. I, I brought some goods. Oh, those are going to be really <laughs> relevant to us later. Uh, um, one of us, someone with crushing, and I have crushing active, so to attack the fairy, 
Um, so I'm going to just do one two move to be able to get within one. And I'm going to attack the Fae. You can go through a tree? Whoosh. I went beside it. Oh, the okay. little diagonally. Got it. OK. And attack. Oh, again? Oh, no. OK. Um, that's OK. That's OK. It's only a one in eight result, so it's very impressive that you roll it every time. <laughs> Thank you. I am impressive. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do one here. And a one over here to get two stars at least. Um, oh no, wait. I three. I get three total because of my power ability. Yeah, you're okay. special. Damage. And the fairy is crushed. Oh. Uh, and as I do it, I sing that rhyme that you started. One, two, I punch you. <laughs> Three, four, you hit the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we loved it. Yes. And now your your hook, <gasps> yes. your cane. Yes, cro my crooked staff. Yeah, it's covered in like sparkly goo. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, we get a bunch of uh, things and we remove the fay. Um, all right, I will, I still have an action. Oh. Um, uh, and the rest of Did my movement. Did you use all your movement? No. Awesome. So, um, I don't know. Let me search the barricade, see if we can find something really fast while someone else, burr, burr, burr. You can also go through the token if you want. Oh, I can go, you're right, <laughs> you're right. You know, Screw that, I don't want to search the barricade. I want to go back. One, and interact with the thing, which is over there. There it is. <gasps> yes, continue. <gasps> 12B. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to scout ahead. Title. Yeah, this is a good turn. OK, 12B. And it goes next to you all. Continue. All right, we need one barricade, one tall pillar, and one well. Can I borrow that for alignment purposes? Yes, you can. OK, so it wants to be next to the two trees. All right. Ooh, you want to hit continue? I do. Beep. And now we have three enemies. Do we want three enemies, or do we want one less than three? This is a question for you. We want one less than three. Great. We're spawning two enemies, one level two zealot and one level one bandit, both orange. One level, sorry. One, one level, one, one level one bandit and one level two zealot. The last bandit out of the well looks the most formidable. Uh-oh. He easily spots you in the shadows. Eh. Heard the four ball might cause trouble. He slams a metal lid down over the well, locks it, and deftly pockets the key. Well, that looks like where we're going. Mm -hmm. Nobody told us to rough him up a bit. And nobody told us not to do that either. The other bandit chuckles. Other bandit. Two yeah. bandits. OK, where's our new bandit that <sighs> just appeared go? He goes, I don't know yet. Ah, right in front of the well. Oh, we got one there. Right. So when it shows you the same square, you're going to place the one uh, that's shown, and then you'll bump what exists there to an adjacent square. Perfect. But Chance recognizes the locks make a formidable, uh, a formidable lock crafted by a master at bypassing such devices. Um, he cannot help but think of the days he'd spent learning to pick such locks. With each success met, not with praise, but with yet a harder mechanism and a warning not to get too proud of his skills. It's he the best can, kind of teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see the movie Whiplash? <laughs> he can tell at a glance that this lock is a kind beyond what he'd be able to break. The key is the only way. Oh. Objective <laughs> updated. I'm get so the key to the well. I love it. It's like, you know so much about lock picking. You know everything about this lock. You know 
you can't pick it. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't pick that lock. Mm-mm. <laughs> the well before you must be the entrance to the outlaw's hideout. You just need to get inside. Place your hero on the highlighted space, then you may perform an additional action. I'm right on the two uh, in front adjacent to the well. Um, I'm gonna attack. Ah, the, the forest is crumbling <laughs> around me. It's coming for you. Okay. As my last action, actually, I'm going to flip my card uh, because so that I can uh, stay a range mm. boy by, when this fight becomes. So I'm going to stay right here, flip, and remove all of this fatigue. I'm just flavor text imagining. You just took a little nap right in front of them. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, enemies. Hold on. I just, I froze in front of them while I was holding my crooked staff and then went and switched <laughs> and stayed put while maintaining eye contact as we all just like doe-eyed at each other, yeah. frozen. Intense meditation <sighs> also occurred, yeah. Who is next? Well, nothing left in this for us. Nope, someone come so. help. I'll come, what a, a friend in need. Please, Needs leader. Friend indeed. Ha! <laughs> I'm the worst. Brindy. Uh, I'm wondering, so I'm already adjacent, but I really like not having so much fatigue. I'm almost full mm -hmm. up, so I yep. am going to ready my person. And now I'll be ready to outmaneuver, which is pretty sweet. It's a move and attack in one action. So I'm going to maneuver. Uh, well, let's do it on the air. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, God. Barracks. That one. Ha ha. Start down that path. The well before you must be the entrance to the outlaw's hideout. You just need to get inside. Place your hero in a highlighted space. Oh, hello, Cyrus. Just us. Should we talk about that hug we never got? <laughs> Okay. Uh, one quick hug before yeah. we fight enemies. Oh. oh, that was good. I needed that. Me too. Uh, <laughs> the bandits can wait. Yeah. Did it give me an action when I went through there? Maybe. Uh, it did, I yeah. I double check in the quest It should have, though. It better I think any time we go through the paths, it gives you an additional action. Oh, good. Yes, it did. Okay. Uh, so, first action, ready the card. Second action, we're going to outmaneuver... Now, we don't like it hitting zealots first because they help their friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go one, two, three. Uh, I'm wondering if I should hit the further away bandit because as our friends with ranged abilities get in, they're probably going to go for the, the one closer to the mm -hmm. entrance. We also know our bandits always smoke bomb, so whoever you attack is going to move two spaces away from you. Uh, hate that. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to go for the higher level bandit, the green one, with my war hammer. Good luck. Thank you. I heard you. Where are you? Are you running through the forest somewhere? <laughs> oh, wait, we saw you. <laughs> Ooh. Three successes, not bad. I did use a shift to attack with my outmaneuver, so I get to flip the card again. And... Confirm, eight damage. The enemy will also shift with that smoke bomb. Two away, looks like one, two. That was move, flip, attack, all my turn. Yeah. Um, and then one thing I should have mentioned and didn't is that the barricades have an innate effect that when you attack, um, you actually add an additional success. <gasps> um, the enemies, however, if you're staying next to a barricade, will do an extra damage. Um, so since your weapon does uh, three damage, I'm just going to put in that extra success for you in the enemy screen. Ooh. Um, so you did an extra three damage because of the barricade. Oh, very cool. Uh, I will follow into the fray. All right. Yes. Here we go. You start down the path hoping it is the right one. Um, there's the well. I will appear next to it's someone with longer arms. Yeah. Thank you. Um, appear next to Cyrus and perform an additional action. Uh, we have a lot of bandits, so I'm going to flip to my thorn tip knives. And then I will uh, see if I can finish Ooh. off that last bandit that mm. you weakened for us. Ooh. Oh, they're kind of way hidden. Can you reach them? 
Uh, I have a range of four. One, two, three, four. And barricades don't block line of sight, nor nice. do figures. Nice. So Perfect. I should have it. Um, thorn tip knives. My child of darkness ability is the ability that has me flip a shadow card, which lets me get rid of this terrify and add a success to my attack. Yes. Nice. Uh, then I roll the second success and an advantage, which I will put on my card to make a third success. All right. Uh, oh, and then they are next to a barricade for a fourth success. That Jeez. should be plenty. Wow. I probably didn't have to take the fatigue, but I wanted to be real safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we got nine leather from a muddy vest. I took this guy's vest. Uh, ah. We can remove him from the board. Yeah. Ooh, and he was the one holding the key. Yes. You retrieve the key Ooh. off the fallen bandit. You can get into the hideout via the well now Yay. and hopefully find the stolen supplies. Objective yes. updated, climb down the well. Wait for me. <laughs> Weird thing. Do you have to defeat all the enemies in that area to use the well, or can we just bolt? Uh, well, we can always tap things to get more information. So when I tap the well, um, the old well conceals the secret entrance to the outlaw hideout. A heavy metal cover on it is securely locked. We've gotten the key from one of the bandits. Uh, we don't know yet, technically. Ah, okay. We can give it a try. No. But first, darkness. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Ah, we love that. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> it's so refreshing. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Just, just, just bring out a spritz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's exactly. That's what I the keep The bow in my had class. the witch hazel on it, so we all just spray it. There we go. Here it is. Blood. Mm. <laughs> love a spritz. All right. Continue. The bandit targets chance. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh no. With a serrated bolt. Oh, they those, were salty. Oh yeah, those those hurt coming out. They did call me a furball earlier. <gasps> mm. Rude. Uh, so it has a range of two, so it does have to take a step up. Okay. Boop. And then it will hit me for four. Uh, oh, I forgot Child of Darkness, which is before I defend, I must flip a shadow card. The only shadow card left is my uh, hero card. So it's one success, two success, surge for plus two, four successes. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't take nothing. Nice. nice. And then the zealot also targeting chance. Oh, no. Range of three. One, two, three. It's already close enough for four damage. It also has the Icker Lash. So if I don't roll a surge like I did not, oh. <laughs> I also have to infect my hero card. Uh -oh. um, so That's I rolled. Our first infect. Oh, no. What does that do? Oh, yeah. So it at the start says... of the. Infection, when time passes, suffer one damage for each infected card. So it will uh, bleed away my health. Um, I'm going to use careful to add another success. So I have three successes, so I only take one for now. Not too bad. Well defended. Okay. Uh, there's still that will test over... Uh -oh. You gotta take the will test, my friend. There's a will test? Otherwise yeah. you become terrified. There's yeah, some that, spooky shadows it's an here. Eerie oh. darkness. So you're gonna roll these dice. Okay. And uh, pass with will. Would you have a plus? I have a plus two. And I only need seven. Total. You right? Could do it. Use I the could. power of your grumpiness to just will your way through this. I got this. Just give me a moment. I got five plus two, that's seven. There you go. This is easy. Nice. The <laughs> two of these you'll have to take fatigue with. Oh no, I thought those were stars. <laughs> I have a I have lightning bolt. So I'm gonna add one star and then I'm gonna discard your infect. Yes. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. So now you're at four. And I needed how much? Oh, but five, six with your bonus. So I need one I need one fatigue. Yeah. yeah. Done. Did it. Nailed it. Survived. No terrified necessary. Let's see, the call of the wren, nobody hears. And then the foes search the forest for us, and they are all gone. The bandit crouches low, daggers out, and beckons you forward with a flick of one of their rusted tips. <gasps> mm, hero face. OK. Wanna, oh, let's see, it's kind of crowded. Should we make some room on this map before you come yeah. on over? <laughs> yeah, I'll make some room. OK. I will move. Um, can you just move me a little bit uh, close? Can I move through an enemy? 
You no. cannot move through an enemy, okay. and if you're adjacent, remember, you'll become impeded. That's right. <laughs> well, I could go for that bandit first because they're going to shift two away from me with their smoke <gasps> Good bomb. point. Here Look you go, friend. Way. Okay. Hey, hey, you. Did you see what happened to your friend? You're next. Pow. Uh, mm. Bryn hits with her weighted war hammer. The bandit steps forward before you can attack, thrusting a rusted knife. Bryn suffers five agility negates. Oh, which is minus one for me. It's fine. I got five. Wow. Minus the one. I will take one. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you call that a flesh wound? It's just a, it's a, it's a scratch. <laughs> All right. And uh, for my attack, let's do something awesome. Two damage on the die. They are at 17. But I'm going to crush them a little harder and uh, put two fatigue on my war hammer to add an additional one. Boom, boom, boom. And they're next to the barricade, so that's a fourth attack. And then I can move them one space away from me after this. Ooh. 11 damage. 11 damage. Ooh. Okay, so they shift two away, and I also move them one away. So they're gonna go one, two, three. Can they um, go past a hero? Oh, uh, this is shifting, so yes. Yeah. yeah! So shifty. So that was my only action so far. I think I might just try and get in that well. See what's happening there. Okay, here I go. Uh, who me? You insert the ornate key into the lock and turn. You feel far more pieces than you're used to click into place as you do. Then the lock pops off the metal cover of the well. You open the well and peer down. A ladder extends down the narrow opening, but you can see a faint light at the bottom. Descending will have to be done one person at a time and will leave you vulnerable. Uh -oh. You shouldn't go down until everyone is ready to go or while there are still enemies nearby. Okay. The hero may climb down the ladder if there are no enemies on tile 12B. This will move all heroes into the outlaw hideout. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, so I will wait. So that was my second action, but I also wasn't close enough. So I do have to move that final one. Uh, and then I could use my other two bits of movement. But I also don't want to be standing next to a barricade because the enemy will hit me harder. So I'll just move into the corner and chill. So when it says no enemies nearby, they mean on that board? On that tile. Okay. On the tile, okay. Yeah, we are in 12B. Okay. Okay. Uh, one of us, it doesn't matter if I go, when, when I go, because I'm just trying to get you're over You're going to push us. Yeah. So yeah, right, go for it. Movement. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to take my first action and move closest to that thing. Two. Then I'll take my, that was my movement. Then my first action will be to explore and just to confirm it was this one the far away one over there okay yes. i place it right there and i push someone you is can there push advice me forward if you okay like. so yep perfect <laughs> and now i have one more oh then i get a free action because I'm, I moved. And you had one more movement left if you're trying to get One closer. more movement and one more action after that. So I think I should use one of my movements to ready. Because then if I fight, I'll have more, uh, more room. Because I have three fatigue space now. Awesome. Am I able... Oh, I have crush. That's so okay. I can't. I can't do three reach. I have to be adjacent oh. to them. But you still. Oh, you I have one more move. Left. Too. Yep. So do I'll go ahead and do that. And mm -hmm. then is that the one that gives strength to its buddy? No, this one is. Okay, so then I'll attack that the one. Bandit. And that is the bottom one here. Yeah. Okay, so I have the Iron Thorn War Bell. The bandit steps forward before you can attack, thrusting a rusted knife. Varric suffers five damage, ag agility negates. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about the rusted knife. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for that. Okay, <gasps> I got Great six, <gasps> so I'm, I'm good. You're good. All right. Now, if only I could do that for, for my attack here. I hope I get a lightning bolt too. 
I get a lightning bolt and a plus. Nice. So I will take one fatigue for one star. And then I have a lightning bolt, which is uh, during your attack, add two stars and expose the enemy. Should I waste that on? Because I could remove an effect from your card. Don't you? I have don't any? have any effects. No We're one has good. any effects. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and do that with the lightning bolt. So I'll Sweet. add three and expose, which is expose. Oh, I think it's the status right here. Okay. <clears throat> Plus 20% to hero attack damage. Nice. There's only six damage on this person, but we are going to crush them. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm at total three. Yeah. Here we go. We really want to crush the spirit of the zealot that remains. Yeah. Right? 11 damage. Nice. There it is. Yeah. We got it. Nice. Remove the bandit. Ooh. Good. Bye bye. And that is that. Nicely done. Uh, that was my two. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. I did everything. You cleaned, you fought, you mm -hmm. moved. There you go. Oh, after I attack, suffer one fatigue. Oh. Would you like to attack the zealot, or should I? You have the zealot's weakness, so I'd love I to see do? what you can do against it first. Ah, okay. I will attack you with my glimmer wand. The range of three? I, I have a range of four. Ooh. Does that mean I have to hit from four, or no, within four? No, just within four. Right. Ah, okay. So. One, and I also have a thing, so I will add, um, I will move this over to my glimmer wand, my sweat to my gl glimmer wand, which means I get to add one more. Um, and I don't have any pluses, so I can't add fatigue, right? Mm -mm. Correct. But it is adjacent to a barricade, <gasps> so you get another successful ah, thing. Ah, ah, confirm. Seven damage. Okay. And I'm gonna go again. Ha! Glimmer wand. Pew, Let's go, glimmer pew. wand. Yeah. Hey, we like that a little bit better. One and one for the barricade and two plus signs, which means I'm going to spend one fatigue. And with my special in power, I get two. And I will also spend another, put it on my glimmer wand, and add another for five Whoa. damage. Or five thing. Awesome. 15 damage. Yes. He's got five health left. Oh, Ugh, nice. wow. Haha, -ha. and then I will move okay. sneakily to, can you put me in the spot adjacent to you? That will only be three of my movement and away from the barricade. Nice. I only have five health left. I will s try to decide between doing weakness or doing two attacks. Uh, I think I just do two Do two attacks. attacks. I'm gonna laugh when it hangs on at one. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is two successes. Barricade. Plus the barricade. Ah. Oh. Ah. For four damage. Yes. It hangs on one at more, one. One more. So I have one more attack. Uh, for three plus four from the barricade. Well, one extra from the barricade to make four. Uh, super dead. <gasps> we got some herbs and minerals and a talon pommel recipe. Great. We can oh, discard the zealot. And that's all of us. Yay! With all of the resources that we collected with this round, how like when do we build that this war campaign? Yeah, so at the end of your quest, you'll go back to town. In town, there's a uh, crafting studio workshop. There's also a shop um, where you can buy more recipes, you can buy items, or you can buy more ingredients. Mm. And so um, almost everything you get through the game are either through the feats you complete, which will give you cards and recipes, uh, or by crafting them. Um, and then we all we can all share the resources, or are they stuck with that character? You gain them as a party, so you also make choices as a party as to which things you want to make. Okay. And okay. when you go into the crafting shop, is the NPC actually Gina DeVivo that helps you craft things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Just, it should have been. I come with it's... the game. <laughs> Well, sweet. Uh, if only we had one more action to go down a well. In face. Darkness. Darkness. Remove fatigue. Ooh, that actually, that was a good nap we got. Yeah. But there's no bad guys. So, so this may be a really lovely quick darkness phase. It should be a nice, a nice quiet uh -huh. darkness. <laughs> Uh, yep, yep. Nobody's in that spot. Nobody hears the Rin. Hero face. <laughs> okay. We're right. being really good at yes, this. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's 
let's go down the on well, the last baby. room, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to spin one of their action? I'm already adjacent. It should be me. You I will spin mind. my action. I will bring us down a well. Lead the way, fearless leader. Okay. Down a well we go. Climb down the ladder. One by one, you descend down the ladder into the hideout. Remove all tiles <gasps> and all terrain tokens and figures on them. Oh, my. We're underground, y'all, and we'll be looking for 12A and four short pillars. 12A. 12 is already on the board, so we just have to flip it. Ooh. Should be that last one. Oh, and four short pillars. Four short pillars, please. All right, oh, I coming can right up. Aha. Merch. Oh, awesome. Hey. Zoom tight. Ooh. Times two. Danger is afoot. <laughs> My nose has sensed it. It's uh -oh. something better. <gasps> Crates and chests line the walls of the storeroom. <gasps> Get ready. And stairs lead to what seems to be an older stone section of the room. Place one chest, one lectern, one. Everyone. Shell. A bookcase. <laughs> I smell the pages. <laughs> One staircase and two explore tokens. So let's see. We've got a bookcase. All I heard right was bookcase. What else I know. We need? We've got the stairs. We need one chest, one lectern, and two explore tokens, which we've already got. Just the lectern. <gasps> wow. It's a whole room. 14A, please. 14A. The stone ledge wraps around the lower part of the storeroom. The stonework looks decidedly older than the rest of the storeroom. Uh, a gate closes off the top of the only staircase affording access to the higher level. And we're going to place tile 14A, one gate, and three tall pillars. So the gate goes on top of the stairs, and the pillars are held, uh, holding up 14A there. Awesome. And then if we could actually lift that gate up, because this is going to rest on top of the What? That's the so cool. Stairs. Whoa, how cool. Torch. Like Love it. OK, we need one more chest and an explore token. There's a chest right here. Oh, we got to get these oh. other chests in here, though. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need some more. This feels more gargoyle-y. Will there be a tail? Maybe. Uh, coils of rope sit in a corner, probably for securing large loads. Okay. And that's an explore token. Oh, gosh. Uh, chance, we need your chance voice. Mm. Uh, uh, let me get my uh, terrible French accent <laughs> back. Yes, we like it. Uh, the loot should be here, chance murmurs as he looks around the room. Then his tail droops and he holds his breath for a moment. That, that is, this is where they'd keep the... Uh, Supplies they would have stolen. <laughs> Chance casts a sidelong glance at the crates and slinks along the edge of the room. Something's not right here. Place the heroes in the highlighted spaces. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Objective updated. Search for the stolen supplies. Awesome. Okay. Can I pass these to you? Okay, we get to search things. <gasps> I feel like... Once you smell books, you have to. I want the. Oh! <laughs> so, oh! Sorry, big spooky man. You did overuse your first action to come down here. It's still oh, your sorry. turn. Oh, I'll wait for the books. I was. <laughs> you're doing odd to even move. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna continue. I didn't even use my maneuver yet, so I'll go one, two, open a chest. Um, no, you know what? I'm more interested in the explore token. So I'm going to go the closer one. You open the crate. You find it mostly empty, but there are a few useful, useful things you can collect. Discard this explore token. Nice. Okay. okay. Just, 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 just look in there. Uh, cloth, metal, gold. It's all awesome. Don't worry. Uh, oh, objective updated. Search for the stolen supplies. One out of two complete. <gasps> so... It was good. We were happy. Okay, second action. I'm going to do that other explore token. Yeah. First action was coming down the well. My first action was coming <laughs> down the well. So instead, I'll just uh, step towards the stairs. So I'm ready to go after y'all. See what else is in there. Books. Books? My books. books. 
Great. Let's hope this is one of the locations. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wowza. I like how you moved yourself there. You're like, no, this one's mine. <laughs> this one is mine. Um, and I will search. Ooh, I can either search the books, search the bottles, or search the baubles. All what is your bonus that your character cares? Oh, it was your feet. It's my feet. Which were, where, where, where? Hit the... You can find that in the party menu. In mm. fact, a couple of us have already completed some feats, but they're sorry. So. <sighs> Pursuit of knowledge. Uh, it just says interact with a shelf. I can do all, any of them. Ha! Huh? I'm going to search the books. Oh, hey! Uh, an immense tome describes healing methodologies in fine detail. Most require tools not at your disposal, but there is some useful information. Two heroes each heal one. Anybody injured? I'm at four. <laughs> Would you like one? Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Are you injured? I mean... Yes. <laughs> what at? I'm at uh, one injury plus six. Take it. Okay. Continue. I'll do it again. My beautiful books. <laughs> um, I'm going to search baubles because yes. that's a fun word. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. A miniature portrait of a striking, beautiful man sits on a shelf. Oh, it's a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm humble. Uh, a hero may focus and prepare two cards. A hero. So not just, not me, necessarily. So if anyone wants to prepare or switch, they can do this. You did, it did sound like you were struck by your own beauty. <laughs> I was. Uh, uh, Sounds very focusing. Yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn. Let's, let's, why not? Uh, so focus and prepare are going to be the conditions you put on right. the card. Right. So focus is you discard it to re-roll a die? Mm-hmm. Awesome. And prepare lets you flip a card without spending an action. So it says focus and prepare two cards. Yeah. So that means you're going to put a focus and prepare token uh, twice. Which one's the focus Hell one? Hell yeah. It is the blue, blue one that has okay. a little like die rolling on it. Great. I'm going to put it on this one. What's you on the other this? side of shared pain? Shared energy. Nah. Not for this. Um, and then... I'm going to do the same thing to uh, this card. And I will uh, search for stolen supplies one of two. So we still only have the one. Um, I actually know where the other stolen supplies are. <laughs> so I will make my off. I will take my turn last. <laughs> okay. Well, did you? S oh, you, you didn't search that blue token over there. And you didn't yeah. search the chest. Correct. Right. So I'm going to go over there as close as possible and actually search the chest first. Cool. Okay. It says, an ingenious mechanical puzzle secures the lid of this chest. A shrewd mind could determine the right combination to open it. Test insight. I do have plus one. Ooh. And I can roll. Yes. Okay, here we go. Come on. <gasps> I have five. Plus one is six. Here we go. Come on, big money. You're closer to opening ah, the chest, but there's know, still some upper card. It's okay. I'm going to take my second action, and I'm going to do that. Yes. Love it. Okay, here we go. Okay, big money. Big money. Come on. I need this. Oh, five yeah. plus six. Let's go. You found it. The following has been added to your inventory for, to be used later. Five metal and eight curios from a worthless charm. <laughs> eight minerals and one aquas from blood spices. And 13 minerals from a glowing core. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Beneath everything, you pull out a final item. The following has been added to your inventory to be used later. Stormbound pendant. Ooh. Neat. Sounds pretty. Yeah, it lovely. still says one out of two. Yeah. Oh, so snap. it's got to um, be that I blue thing. I think it's thing. the blue thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys want me to search the blue thing? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh, there's a storm bump. This or, is our decision. Or the bookcase, you can search the bottles. <gasps> you found this pendant, though. Enjoy. Ooh. Ooh. What does it do? During your attack, if the enemy has not been attacked this round, it suffers one to seven additional damage. Wow, okay. So you won't be able to equip it until a future quest, but you found it now for the rest of the campaign. Awesome. Sweet. 
Uh, all right, I'm going to search this blue token. Uh, you open the crate. You find it mostly empty, but there are a few useful things you can collect. Discard this explore token. Uh, we got eight leather, one toxos, and 51 gold. Chance opens another crate marked with fourth in emblem, and with a crack and a hiss, a pungent miasma pours forth from it. Oh! A trap! Oh, no! As the smoke starts to clear, a line of bandits has appeared on the ledge, crossbows at the ready. Rude! Spawn the following enemy. I'm a glad I opened the chest. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Spawn Was it the, the bottles? Enemy. Oh no, it must have been the bottles. Or it's up there. Bobbles the never floor. hurt you. It couldn't be the bobbles. <laughs> it couldn't. It couldn't. The bobbles. Tchotchkes would never betray me. Never. <laughs> um, another bandit sniper. Trinkets are friends, not foes. One more bandit sniper. Ah. Uh, because it is a bandit hideout, it turns out. Uh, yeah. Snipers. Rude. Oh no. A voice cuts through the confusion. Chance, you've returned. Uh, I don't have a good outlaw prince voice. <laughs> Jen! Oh, chance, you've returned. <laughs> oh. A man steps into view, clad in a dark cloak and leather armor. You had me absolutely worried sick, you know. Was he the one we had pictured on the <gasps> shelf? Yes. <laughs> chance feels an icy hand grip his insides and twist. Uh, you, you called me ungrateful. Yes! Chance mutters. You called me hopeless. I did no such thing, the man says. His attention turns to the rest of the party, as if with those few words, all is mended. But where are my manners? I am the famed outlaw prince, master thief, brilliant strategist, champion of the downtrodden. He laughs jovially, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but the sound has a sinister undertone. He didn't tell you, did he? Ooh. Chance, what did you not tell us? I took Chance in when no one else would. I taught him everything he knows. Chance's fur bristles with each word. He's pulled off more than a few impressive heists, and now he has brought you to me. I know that's a lot to lay upon your doormat, but I'm very proud. James, how could you? We hugged. <laughs> <laughs> he looked back. Uh, he looks back to Chance and snaps his finger. Now, Chance, retrieve them of their, uh, relieve them of their weapons, if you please. Chance quivers, his ears pinned down. Then, in a small voice, he says, No. Chance chooses. Uh, so I could be independent, defy the outlaw prince, or trust, tell the others the outlaw prince is lying. You, we hugged, you believe me, don't you? I do. I believe you. I uh, am willing to go along with it because I want you on the team. I think you're lying, but you picked us. I do. So that makes me feel I, good. I, yep. Wait, is it good trust or bad trust? I'm confused. I did, uh, you know. Let's I, just trust. Connected. Yes. Connected. Uh, Zelda Prince is lying to you. Chance turns to the party. He's just trying to trick you. I didn't bring you here for him. Chance's body trembles. His heart pounds too fast, as if he's on the edge of a chasm about to fall. Please, if you ever believe me, believe me now. After the briefest moment of silent deliberation, Cyrus nods. Chance lets out a breath he'd been holding. The outlaw prince looks bewildered by Chance's defiance, but he only wears that emotion for a moment. <gasps> oh, dear stupid Chance, he says, shaking his head as he pulls a lever set onto the wall. A mechanism in the floor grinds into motion and the floorboards jolt downward. Then the floor comes out from underneath them entirely. Remove tile 12A and all terrain tokens and figures on it. Ooh. <gasps> Place one tall pillar. I'm just gonna put it on the edge there. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the floor slopes downwards, revealing a pit full of spikes beneath. Oh, gosh. The incline is too severe to stop the party from falling in. The bookshelf smashes into no! ruined maple wood, <laughs> leaning against one wall of the pit. Ugh. Hey, it seems to have made a ramp. 
<laughs> Knowledge <course>. is power. <laughs> it contains spilled across the floor. Okay, good. Place one spike underlay. Oh, that's these bad boys. Okay, spike underlay and two explore tokens. Um, sort of um, one on the very corner and then one um, in the same row, but keep one square gap between them. There you go. Did I place the spike pit right? Yep. Okay. Though the others are caught off guard, Chance's exceptional reflexes give him a moment to act. He could leap to safety of the ledge. Maybe there he could find a way to help the rest of his party out of the pit. But getting out of the pit will require exceptional agility. Will Chance, which Chance has in spades, he could probably push a companion safely onto the ledge if he accepts falling into the pit himself. Chance chooses Ooh. spring to safety or save a companion. Mm. I felt a little bit of doubt about, uh, a, a little bit of doubt from some of my party, so. You don't think with all of my heavy armor I could leap to safety on my own? I think it might be time to save a companion. Uh, does anyone want well, to be safe? Well, Cyrus is the one, Cyrus is the one that gave you the, the gentle first. nod. And also has minus one agility, I believe. I do. Yeah. You also have minus one agility. Yeah. <laughs> but I have Same more difference. movement to Wait get a minute, to a wall. But, but Cyrus can can die easier, right? Mm -hmm. So you have more attack, and you're closer to the enemy. <gasps> yeah, who All you push up, leave Yes, the yes, yes. Is it safer in a pit of spikes, <laughs> or is it safer being the only one? <laughs> Probably I should go to the enemies. I I think I think there might be a way for you to help us too. Oh, for once sure. Once you're up there. Yeah. Unless you can more, but I'm trying to figure out how. No, no, no. I'll outsmart them all, don't you worry. I will save a companion. <laughs> uh, almost without thinking, Chance springs forward and shoves one of his companions to safety on the upper ledge. They tumble, but are otherwise unharmed. <laughs> the bandits impose themselves between them and the outlaw prince, place a hero other than Chance on the highlighted space, and then uh, Chance may prepare and focus one card. I knew I could trust you. Good luck, Bryn. <laughs> what? Good thing I got that one health. <laughs> Remember, if a hero or enemy moves into a spiked space, they become impeded and suffer two damage. Time to so use. that's all of us, time yes? To my potion. Okay, so maybe next time, Chance. But just for you, a memento. Um, and he holds up a lock, not unlike the one that was sealed in the well and he slips through the gate and clamps a lock on it behind it. So we have to place a gate at the far end and he locks it. Mm. Rude. Uh, final objective, escape the outlaw prince's trap. That's all we have to do. Great. And now it is our turn. This should have also been discarded. Um. So that was my first action. <laughs> oh, we should have fallen into the spikes. Does there everyone take the two damage now? Let's or take our two damage, I, I think. Did. Yeah, I took mine. I have my bigger it potion. would have highlight spaces in the app, but I can't get back to those now. That's OK. Oh, um, I should try and leave. Um, I take two damage for stepping into another spike. Oh, no, every spikes. spot. Uh, and now I try and climb. Uh, the bookshelf fell into the pit with you and smashed on the spike. Some parts look sturdy enough to climb, especially for the agile. Uh, I need Here two black dice. Thank you. That's the one thing. Okay, I have a focus. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass. Uh, stepping carefully. I climb out of the pit. Wow, good job. Nice. nice. Um, and I may prepare one card, so I will. Do you still have a little movement? Uh, I don't, because spike pits also impede you. Gotcha. OK. So I got up there, and I'm going to use both my prepares to get ready to be attacked. Darkness <laughs> falls. Uh, everyone, r remove one. Yay. A little spritz in the spike pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am targeted by an enemy five away. It's the bandit sniper that's green. So they'll move a little away from you. Uh, okay, and then I'm trying to defend against six damage. Sorry, just Ooh. one die. Oh. Uh, we could just pick that one. <laughs> 
Okay, one and a lightning bolt. Um, an adjacent hero can discard. Nope. So I take four. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm at one health. Let's just go ahead and die. It'll be fine. And then Varix is targeted, but I don't know if the bandit sniper can reach Varix. Yep, so uh, these squares line up directly with this, so you can always jump down from higher. You just can't go back up. You can also shoot down and shoot up. Oh, that's great for them that they can shoot uh, in a range of five. Okay. Yeah, actually, walk all the way back here. All right, okay. and uh, defend against five damage. Okay, and I have, I have five right now, and then I'm dead. You don't negate it, something. It's okay. a major injury. You'd live one more time. Oh, okay. All right, two. Take three damage. Can I do one of these thingies? Yeah. No, no. you don't have yeah. a lightning bolt <laughs> open. surge. So, so three damage. Okay. Yeah, but then this last one's going for you, so there's also that. Uh, it's the, yeah, the red bandit. Uh, oh, sorry, they're yellow mm -hmm. with three pips. Um, five damage coming at you as well. All right, here oh, we go. My. Okay. One, two, three. I still would die. You still so die. I shouldn't use. Fatigue. Just take the hit. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I died for a second time. Oh. Let me go ahead and interrupt <laughs> to ah. give you that wound. It is. Uh, yeah, we're wounding. Flip your injury card. Varix. Okay. After your attack, suffer one damage and one fatigue. That's not bad. I'm all the way at eight fine okay. i haven't been at eight for like half the game yeah <laughs> well luckily you don't have to worry about all that extra damage and we're yeah. on to the next hero phase we got this. so it looks like the path is clear for one of us to grab that rope yeah i can just start there sure go for it i'm right next to it help us uh you grab a long coil of rope and throw it down into the pit you test to make sure it will support someone's weight and it holds fast you can discard that exploration token nice oh and then add one uh down here okay so the rope hangs down into the bit, offering anyone down there an easy way out. Um, so Varix is right next to the easy way out. Yeah. Cyrus is still a space away. So with Cyrus's permission, I could use my disguise to, we could reveal that this was secretly Cyrus all along. Uh, and we can swap <laughs> places. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Excellent. This is why I gave you the head nod. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that, those are my two actions, and then I have a move. Um, so I will <laughs> move my one impeded space forward, and then I am going to chug my Vigor Potion so that I'm hanging out at four health down here. Okay. Um, we are going to have to fight these bad guys. I know. I can get out of here. fight, or someone can, we, someone can get out. Oh, yeah, you're right there. Um, I think I'm going to hit that green two, level two bandit right next to me. Okay. So I'm going to move. Hit a bandit with a warhammer. All right, you got this. Roll them bones. One, two, yes. three. Uh, and then nothing else. Eight, Eight damage. damage. We don't know its weakness. And uh, I'll just hit again. Two more damage. Come on. Oh, they shifted two away from me before that, actually. Um, so let's see where they go. One, two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I still have movement, so I'll come right after them to continue this attack. When you got adjacent, you were impeded. <gasps> and lost any extra movement points you would have had left. Mm. So uh, this five damage was a lie. <laughs> Cancel. Cancel. Um, then I don't want to do that. Uh, then I will, that's kind of my move. That's kind of what there is to do. Um, you could flip a card if you'd prefer. Oh, I'll flip a card. Okay, and then that will be my turn. Uh, we'll flip this. Ooh, but I do. All right, maybe slashing damage will work better. Okay, should I just go next? Go, go for, for it, it. try to get out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of my actions to get You're out. Right by that rope. I get a solid grip on the rope and climb out of the pit. I can go on one of those three spaces and I'm gonna use my second action. Am I able to attack someone from there? Uh, do you have reach? I don't. So you could have could instead move. have gone to this space and, and pushed. Push. Yeah, yeah okay. push me. So I will do that and attack 
Uh, which one is this? The one? green. The green? I look so damaged on this app. <laughs> I have like blood all over me. All right, I have Crush. So that's the Iron Thorn Warbell. Okay. All right, so here we go. Big money. I have one star. I'll take one fatigue for a plus sign. I will take two more fatigue. Or I'll take one more fatigue here to. You just had one plus to sign. doom the enemy. So doom uh, is I, a condition that when uh, so normally enemies only have a condition for one round. Uh, doom will make sure that it lasts to the next round. So if the uh, enemy doesn't have any other conditions on it, dooming it isn't very helpful yet. Oh, okay, okay, so don't do that. I'm just trying to like throw everything I can mm -hmm. at it. Doom not. Doom not. <laughs> so right now I just have two. Correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we yeah. go. Oh, continue. Five damage, it has two left. And that was both my actions, but I have move left. Uh, also, after you attack, suffer oh, one. Oh, yes. That's okay. And a fatigue. And a fatigue. And then, does anyone want my... Oh, does my Stormbound Pendant during your attack if the enemy has not been attacked this you round? You just found it. You haven't equipped it yet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. During your turn, does anyone want three health? You have to be adjacent. I'm so next to you. To I'll take genius. three health. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. Hey, nice. And then, I tool three. <gasps> I feel wonderful. Yay! I'm very excited. Remember that. So good you could fight. We need to keep you alive as much as possible because if you reduce to zero one more time, we will all lose the quest. Oh, right. okay. Oh, right. oh, did that bandit uh, shift two away? Yes, it had smoke okay. on. Um, so Send it right back into your arms. <laughs> yeah, come to me. Great. Um, I will attack. The what color is he? You're right next to Or. Oh, this one's green. Oh, I'll I'll leave them for you, or unless he's gonna attack you. He will if you leave him alive. I'm gonna yeah. So I'm gonna attack that one. You've got two attacks. Yeah. So yeah. What color is he? Green. Green. Um. Great. Glimmer wand. Okay. Uh. Great. Ex. Uh. Star. Turn and to your best side. <laughs> boop. And that isn't even in one. Boop. And confirm. Dead. Take him off the board. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we can also, we just need to get one of these out of the way and get to the gate and unlock the gate, I think. Great. I'll, I'll aim for orange next. Wow. Ha. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So. Uh, That's going to be some major damage. Two. And then. Two. And then. Uh, I will spend one. Boom. And attacking for Five. Whoa. Nine damage. Ooh. Is it out? Uh, no, it has six left. Okay. That's my end. That is orange. That the orange? The orange is down to six. Okay. Who's next? That was everybody, I think. And fate. Bummer. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta get out of here. Uh, everybody discard one fatigue if you've got it. Okay. I don't know why they keep going for you. This seems rude, but I think they see that you're already injured. Um, so you've got five damage coming at you. All right. So I am going to roll again. Reroll. I have two stars. So that is three damage. Three damage. I'm Next. at four. And the other one's shooting at you too. All right. Defend. I got this. I have two stars again. So that is three damage. Uh-huh. I'm at one. Okay. Oh, oh. We'll just, yeah, we'll just, uh, it'll be fine. Oh it'll my gosh. Be fine. Yeah, it'll be you, fine. You have your healing side up too for your, um, on your hero card, so you can heal yourself what? a little bit. Respite. Pay oh. two sweat during your turn. You are an adjacent hero heals too. I have never read that before. <laughs> <laughs> you were on the other side of the oh, card. This is, <laughs> this is great. Okay, the oh, pungent. Yeah, fine. The pungent smoke spreading throughout the room, claws at your throat and eyes. Each hero infects one card. Oh. I'll infect my raging. Okay. When time passes, suffer one wound for each infected card. So you want to get rid of that. Oh, well then I better do it right here. Okay. Um, hero phase. <laughs> Yay. All right. Our goal is to get out of here. Yeah. If someone can just take out one of these bandits, I could come up and open the gate. I right. should not. I'm going to hit. 
I'm doing it. Bam. Okay, attacking orange dude. S glimmer. Bam. Von Glimmer. W one and lightning. So two. A confirm. A four damage. Great. Number uh, second go. Bam again. Glimmer. Bam bam. Dead. Let's Ooh. get him out of here. Uh, okay. Continue. I think I can get that gate open if you don't mind taking one step forward with your maneuver. Ah, move me. All right. Now, can I try this gate? Yes. Do it. You wait, you're way down there. Uh, but I have my disguise up. Ha ha. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think you'll secretly find. <laughs> under that disguise, there was another disguise. That uh, <laughs> under the first disguise, I really was Chance all along. <laughs> you think I did all that? I'm still down here. Uh, then I will take a step forward, <laughs> and I will try to unlock this gate for us. You can do it. I believe uh, in you. The gate through which the outlaw prince escaped must lead outside. A large, complicated lock like the one that had sealed the well keeps it closed. Chance's tail twitches erratically. This lock is the most baroque mechanism he's ever seen, crafted by the outlaw prince, a master thief himself. But finding the key to this lock is not an option, since the prince has it. Chance doesn't know if he can overcome the mechanism, but he has to try. <gasps> oh, nice. Uh, it's be seven. It's going to be seven. <gasps> nice. Because I, I flip cards a lot. This is fine. So seven. Seven. Come on. Oh, come on. The lock holds fast. No! no. As we continues to fill the room, reminding Chance there's little time to save himself and his new friends. Do you have another Chance steadies action? his result. You may focus one card. Oh. Uh, I'd use disguise as an action to come up here. Okay, I'm going to just shoot. Shoot. Rapid fire. One, two, three. Hello. I punch. Blade. Roll. One, two, three, hit. Nine, Nine damage. damage. Nice. He's still up, so I hit again. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Yeah! I take two fatigue. And then hit again for four. Yep. Done. 11 damage yes! finishes you. My friends are here. good at lock picking. <laughs> Uh, we found three curios from charred trophies, 13 gold. Remove that bandit sniper. Goodbye. Has everyone acted this turn? I have not. Get in there. I am going to use one of my actions to flip this card. Oh, yeah, uninfect. Because <laughs> you otherwise I will, I will die. <gasps> and then I will... Hey, um... Yes. Hmm. I'm going to die. It's fine. <laughs> If I can die. Dies, we lose if I the die, game. I die, yeah. die. I can die. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I just and then bench. I am going to sp uh, spend restoration for two fatigue. I can heal two more times, so I'm at three health now. Good. Love that. So, was There's this an no action? Enemies. It's not an action. Okay, so I can go move and try to get towards the gate, right? Sure. All right, and can I? You do the chest on the way if you want. I'll do the chest. All right. Here we go. I don't think you'll be able to open it in time. An ingenious, oh, test, test insight. insight. What? We forgot to oh. put it in. Oops, chest. sorry. Okay, insight is gonna be this. Here we go. I got one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna do any fatigue. Plus one from your, sorry. Boop, you get a uh, one from your ability. Thank you. Okay, done. Nice. Looks like we got an in phase, but uh, no bad guys. No bad guys. <laughs> and um, uh oh, an infection. So that's gonna be one damage. Mm hmm So I go to zero. That's okay. So I'll click on me, and I'm gonna wound myself. Yes. Uh, hes hesitant, which is not mm. my style. Oh, it does look good. Leader. <gasps> After you flip a card, suffer one Ooh. fatigue. That's okay. Um, everybody discard one fatigue. Great. Here up All right. Aha. The way is clear, Chance. Test agility. I also take an infect, just so we know. Ah, thank you. Chance has nearly given up when he hears a click inside the lock, <gasps> and abruptly it comes free. <sighs> He'd bypassed every mechanism, every tumbler, every trick the outlaw prince might have built into the lock. He's done it. Uh, come on, everyone. 
The way out is open, he shouts to the others. Student becomes a teacher. Uh, the gate leads to the outside. You need only go through it, but you should not leave anyone behind. If all heroes are on tile 14A and no enemies are on 14A, you can escape through the gate. This will end the quest. I'm Head. down there. Oh, Let's, no. Uh, stay. Let me up. Cyrus, get out of, get out of there. Cyrus, okay. Cyrus, can you, can you climb okay. up? Okay, I'm going to move one. Two oh, damage. Two damage. Go the easy way, though. Oh, the real yeah. One, two. Interact. Go up. Continue. Mm -hmm. Great. Now let's get out of here. Yay! <laughs> I'm here. Grinovarix, one of you want to throw open this unlocked gate? Hold on. I love walking through rooms first. One, two. <laughs> Fearless leader. Ha Escape. It's very fitting. Did you read some reads? The party runs up several flights of stairs and through the now deserted hideout. By the time they emerge outside, gasping for fresh air, the <gasps> outlaw prince and the rest of his band are long gone. <gasps> At least the party has recovered what remained of the stolen supplies. And with mm. this hideout abandoned, it will probably be some time before the outlaw prince can trouble forth and again. Hey, it seems we also have our own hideout. Hey. <laughs> oh, we've done it. We did it. Mm. Chance's fur stands on end. His tail lashes back and forth. I'm so sorry. I should have told you. Oh, Varix. Told me? Mm. It was not difficult to figure out. <laughs> you need to work for this outlaw prince. You used to work for this outlaw prince. Now you do not. We all have pasts, sins. It seems you've already started trying to atone for yours. So you forgive me? Aye. You led us into a trap and nearly got us killed. Oh. <laughs> but you did it to save innocent lives. Mm. If only all my mistakes were made for such noble reasons. Tell me, when did you change your mind? When did you turn away from the prince? Uh, when he had us seize these supplies, food, blankets, things refugees need, I thought, well, only the bad guys would do something like that. <laughs> You're not a bad guy. It's Cyrus. <gasps> You're not a bad guy, Chance. You're no Wakar, or wait, what is? Wakar. You're no Wakar, the Undying, you know. <laughs> Brain. Come back to Frostgate with us. You can stay with me. Maybe do some good. And what a fabulous place for us to bring this adventure to a close. Yay! Ooh, well done, yay. everyone. Uh, Kara, thank you so much for guiding us through the game. <laughs> thank Beautiful you. job on it. This was a delight. You uh, got close. You yeah. lasted one. Yep. Ooh. You almost died many a time. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. I was probably most upset at you, but. <laughs> there. I did almost get you killed. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. That's what friendship is about. I almost ended, getting him killed. I ended on raging. Kara, <laughs> can you tell us a little about the expansion that's about to come out? Sure. So uh, we've been working on Act Two, uh, the title of which is called The Betrayer's War. Uh, and if you don't know who the betrayer is, you need to finish playing Act 1, because you won't be able to play Act 2 uh, until you've done that, because um, our hero story is going to continue, and there's something that happens at the end of Act 1 that sets up the events for the titular Betrayer's War. Obviously, we have a lot more work to do to get through the rest of Act 1, but uh, I feel like we're well on our way. Mm. All right, thanks so much again for all of you for being here. <laughs> thanks to you for watching this video, and thanks to Fantasy Flight for sponsoring this video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.